All right. Let's see if everything still works. On this goddamn stream that I have not touched. In like what? Like a month? <laughs> you know, it really sucks that there's like no background music right now. That's not fun. What happened? Well, anyways, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between, to more Persona 4 Golden. Where we last left off, I honestly don't remember. I think we fought Mitsuo. I'm pretty sure we beat Mitsuo. Let me see. What, what the hell is our stats? Let's see. I think I used Kanji, Teddy, and Yosuke with me, if I remember correctly. What personas do I even have on me? Okay. Alright. Social links? What, what's happening? What's going on with this? Investigation team 799 got two nines. Yosuke is getting ready to be my, my boyfriend. That's cool. Yukiko's at nine. Chie nine. I think we started Rize stuff, right? Adachi is six. Marie's five. We got to work on Marie. Teddy four. Doesn't matter. Young mother. Ugh, who's going to waste our time? Can't do anything with the fox. Because it's not school time. Nanako. Where the fuck is Rize? Am I blind? Oh, here it is. Two. What the hell happened? <laughs> I only got two for Rize? What happened? Alright, well. Anyways, we're back with more Persona 4 Golden. I, I pray to God that I am... Okay. Hold up. Got some poetry going on. Something is different. Marie is nowhere to be found. Huh? There's another piece of paper on the floor. Something is written on it in cheerful handwriting. Eternal midnight. For mornings when I can't see you. Spicy mint tea. For brunch, a marmalade muffin. A touch of bitter fits my mood. A sigh is stardust. It's like our own Milky Way. I can't catch up to your distant back. Look! Twilight creeps up on us. The distance to you is like an eternal night. What is mint if it's not just cold spicy, right? Isn't that what mint is? Just spicy but cold? This must be another of Marie's poems. What is this? <laughs> Again? I know I hit it, that. I mean, uh, don't read it. Don't read it. You selfish bastard. Don't you... You really are selfish. You... You creeping twilight. Wow. That's a way to describe somebody. I hate you stupid marmalade muffin. Okay. A muffin now. Don't read my stuff. Marie blushes. This. And there's something strange going on. I can smell a conspiracy. I want to just drop this. Marie returns to her seat and looks around suspiciously. That's cool. That happened. Alright. I honestly don't even remember why I went to the Velvet Room. <laughs> I don't. What do we have in the bookstore? Changing careers. Understanding. Oh shit, is that what I need, right? Understanding? Stats. I need understanding because I am motherly, but I think I need to be... What, what was it called? Enthralled or some bullshit? I don't, I don't fucking know. I am a professor. I am brave. I can work on that. Diligence is strong, but not perfect. Okay. So, I think the order of uh, priority I was taking was Marie... Oh, hold up. Do I have shit to sell? 
I think I was doing Marie first, then Rize, then the girls. Okay, I got nothing. So, oh my god, I got, <laughs> I got three hundred thousand. I'm fucking rich. Damn. <laughs> I really grind it like that. Jesus. Okay. So, trying to think if there's anything else we need to do at the moment. I don't think so. Um. No, I don't think so. I have the butterfly net, right? Again, it's been a while since I played this, so I don't really remember. Okay, I do have the butterfly net. And in order to start catching shit, I think I just need to talk to the guy. Talk to the old man. Start getting ready for uh, the fox quest later down the road to catch the guardian of the sea. Ah, uh, there's the music we know and love. And now we're Why the fuck did I go to Dojima's residence? What's wrong with me? To the floodplains. Gotta do that first. Alright, let's head on down here. Old man, talk to me. It's you. How goes fishing? Okay, ask about bait. You can catch fish with breadcrumbs, but fish around here are like bugs. Or something. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Sorry, old man. Alright, I think I gotta... I don't even think you can catch the, uh... The River Guardian until you accept his mission, right? It's in school is out, we can't continue with the fox shit. Alright, well, let's see. Rize's not available. And I'm trying to think what the next... Uh... What the next, um... Place is next dungeon. I'm trying to think who the hell I want to take with us. Junpei! I mean Junpei. Fuck, what is wrong with me? I keep calling Yosuke different fucking names. First it was Teddy, now it's Junpei. God damn it. I meant to look for Yosuke. I'm not sure if I want to take him to the next one or not. I might. And we can't hang out with Kanji because I fucked up his stuff. So honestly right now all we have is uh Yukiko and Chie, so I guess hmm. Let me think about it. And it doesn't matter really. Chie! Yo! What's up? Funny coincidence bumping it to you here. Man, I took another look at my closet at home the other day and thought, wow, they really are all green. It made me remember what Marie Chan said to me. <laughs> oh, by the way, how's she doing? Tell her I want to go clothes shopping with her again. Alright, that's cool. Uh, you... Don't you think this is cool? That shrine, those curves, man, I want that helmet. I misread that, I said shrine, my bad, shine. Seems Chie has some free time. Since you have Ares, a persona of the Chariot Arcana, you feel you could become closer. You feel your relationship with Chie isn't ready to advance yet. Oh, go fuck yourself. I'll think about it, Chie. See you later. I'll think about it. How about you, Yukiko? How you feeling? I feel kind of embarrassed. Do you want to go somewhere? Oh, that reminds me. I found out that you're only allowed to go 60 kilometers an hour on a scooter. Or was it 30 kilometers? Either way, doesn't it seem slow to you? Since you have Pravati. Could become closer. Oh. Well, she's ready. Well, if it's okay with you, uh... I want to go... to your room. Yukiko looks embarrassed. Uh-oh. Your room! You invited Yukiko here! So, this is your room. Yes, this is my room. Oh, oh uh, sorry. I didn't mean to look around. Hey, Breezy. How's it going? It's been a while. It's been a while. Nice to see you again. It's... Just that this is the first time I've been to a boy's room. How come it is so easy to believe that, Yukiko? Oh, you sleep on a futon, I see. I use a futon too. 
Speaking of futons, uh, recently I actually did some spring, uh, spring? Wow. I did some spring cleaning in my room and I threw out my old bed and I switched it out with a futon. So now whenever I want to, I just, I can just, you know, fold it up. It's a nice couch. Me and my buds can sit on it. And then when it's time for bed, I call my dogs over and I put it back down and it's a bed and I'm like, haha. I got a bunch of room in my, I got a bunch of space in my room now. It's great. I recommend it. Get rid of your bed. Have a futon. Um, sorry. I don't know what to talk about. Nice to catch the stream again. It, it's nice to stream again, but also a little bit of anxiety inducing, I will say. You know? Sometimes I get nervous. All the time I get nervous. Especially right now. I'm like, ah, oh, gotta finish Persona. Also, I feel so bad for fucking um, Ace Attorney, cause just been, for weeks, just been putting it off. I feel so bad for Ace Attorney. Alright. <laughs> well, we'll stream it again this week. And also, Ultimax is out. And honestly, right now, I'd rather play Ultimax, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I love that fighting game, it's one of my favorites. But, because A, Atlas is being really fucky with their streaming shit, despite the fact that that game came out in like, what? 2014 and this is just a re-release they're being really iffy about their streaming shit so i'm not gonna fuck with it right also ultimax got some spoilers in it man not just for p4 but also for p3 but to show you to show how like to show how fucking like serious i am about this shit all i can do listen if we really want to i just i can just press a button and then we can just do it. We can just do it right now. We can just... We can just fuck around a bit, you know? Grab the other controller real quick and just... Turn on the music. You know? And just kinda... Kinda... Fuck around a bit. You know? But... I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. That's how you get banned. That's how the that's how the companies come after you. <laughs> you know? Who's to say? Who's to say what you can and can't do? Are you what the fuck are you on about? <laughs> uh Is the futon go with you, girl? Huh? Huh? Oh, you you mean to sit. Anywhere's fine. <laughs> Naughty, naughty girl. Uh, I'm fine with anything. You don't need to worry about me. You decided to relax at Yukiko. Yeah, relax. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm still studying. Cooking and job licenses. I don't plan to leave anymore, but I thought I might as well. I'm glad I realized sooner. If I'd struck out on my own, I know I would have regretted it. I wanted to become completely self-sufficient, but I think I was being presumptuous. Promiscuous, even. I have the inn, I have my family, I have the waitresses and chefs. Did they re-record some voice lines? Because this sounds different from, like, the Vita version. because I was raised by such a kind group. When I think of it that way, my problems aren't just my own. That's why I'm going to stay here, by my own will. Huh. That's good. That's nice, Yukiko. You're gonna be stuck in this town forever for the rest of your life. Yukiko's strong will that allows her to accept and overcome her weakness has awakened her heart's true power. Konohana Sakya has digivolved into Amaterasu. This is my new power? The power you've shown to me. 
this must have been re-recorded. I do not remember her, like, having these, like, like, this certain tone in her voice. I remember it being a little bit more, like, softer. Power I will treasure. Yeah, these were definitely re-recorded. This was re-recorded. It had to have been. I want you to have this. <laughs> But she's gonna be stuck on her terms. Is she really? I think I think I finally understand why people don't like Yukiko. Because you meet her and she's like, man, fuck everybody, fuck this town. Everything's decided for me. I don't wanna be here. This place fucking sucks. Right? And then you do her whole entire social link. And throughout the whole entire town, she's like, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. I'm getting out of here. Fuck this place. I hate it. That's all I want in my life. I'm trapped here. Why the fuck would I ever stay here, right? And then you finish it, and she's like, eh, well, I guess staying at the end isn't bad. And at no point does it ever, like, change, I guess? Like, she's still doing the same shit that she did before? And even it's like... It's hard to even say that it's on her terms because she's still kind of just... She doesn't do anything different, right? Just the same. So, cold feet? I don't know, it's so weird. I think... Maybe? I don't know, honestly. Because she goes... Because she, like... You know, it kind of seems like she's staying because she's like, I have friends and family here who care for me and will watch my back, right? But at the same time, she goes like, but if I went out on my own, I wouldn't really make it far either either way, so I guess I'll just stay? I don't know. It's a charm from that shrine to protect you. These were definitely re-recorded. The way she's like delivering these lines are completely different. You'll protect me, girl. Maybe. To, but Yukiko is smiling sadly. I'm staying here. Oh, you seem really sad about that. Wouldn't it be great if you just want to like, like live in the city with me or something? Like what you wanted to do? This charm will protect you in my place. Then we'll always be together. Yukiko's voice is trembling. Um. Yukiko has to be like the horniest character in this game. Even though Rize is supposed to be the horniest character in this game, Yukiko has to be like the horniest character in this game. I love you. You can feel Yukiko's pure and simple love. You feel a strong bond between you and Yukiko. I love you, says Yukiko. Are you gonna say it back? Your character just silent. Uh-huh. It's cool hanging out with you, too. I'm neutral. That art I and I am thou. Thou has established a genuine bond. These genuine bonds shall be your eyes to see the truth. We bestow upon thee the ability to create... Si I cannot say that name. Kasasasas... Something. Whatever. Ultimate Priestess Persona. Your power to create the Personas of the Priestess Arcana has reached its maximum. You, Narakami, has forged a bond that cannot be broken. By mastering the Priestess Social Link, you can now fuse... How do you say that? Skat... Skatheath? Skahath? The Mentor. Yukiko's growth of heart has affected her Persona as well. Evade... I oh, girl, you're gonna need that. <laughs> this Persona cannot remember more skills. Alright. How about we get rid of, uh, fucking Dia? How about that? How about we don't deal with that anymore? Uh, um. oh. Oh. Don't stare so much at me. You know, this is the moment where like in like in fucking high school just playing this game. And like uh you just have your TV on and then like someone would walk past your room. And then they'll just hear shit like this, they'll be like, what are you doing? What are you playing? <laughs> I remember I was playing uh, Final Fantasy Dissidia, like, in my living room one time, on, like, my PSP. I was playing a uh, Dual Decim. And, like, there's a, there's a moment in the story where you gotta fight Terra, 
and she fucking goes she in the most like innocent like rapey tone ever she goes stay away from me don't touch me right and then as that happens like fucking my sister walked like in the living room she's like what the fuck are you doing <laughs> i was like it's not my fault i didn't do it how's can everything been lately like? again you can say it again i'm not gonna say it back you can go i love you yeah, that was that was not in that was not in the original golden. That was definitely a added a nice added little voice line there. It's gotten dark, so you walk, you could go to her house. That's cool. Yeah, but for me, things have been uh going, oh, I guess. Home, big bro. <laughs> right? For the past two weeks. I don't know, a lot a lot of shit has happened in the past two weeks. Both good and bad. I fucking I started a, I started changing a bunch of shit in my life. Not only just, like, getting rid of a bunch of furniture and shit and stuff like that. Fucking, um... Like, getting ready. Getting ready to fucking spend a bunch of money to get cataract surgery for this goddamn dog. So, that's gonna be a pain in the ass when that happens. Uh, I switched up my diet and a bit of a training regimen that I do now. I fucking... I work out twice as hard as I did before. And... It's both pleasant and painful. And then fucking right as I started doing that, my health took a turn for the worst. So I was out of it for like about a week and a half. So that sucked. Fucking at one point, I thought, at one point, I thought I had a goddamn hernia. Not gonna lie. I really did. I was like, what the hell is going on over here? Is that a hernia? No fucking way. Right? But I was, but you know, gave it a couple of days, right? I was like, let it sit. <laughs> I was like, let it settle. Maybe, maybe it's just like, it's so weird. Cause it's like, it's like I, I changed up my workouts, right? So I was way more sore than I was before. And I got like a badass case of doms and that shit kind of sucked. Uh... But it wasn't like, it wasn't, it wasn't like painful bad, right? At no point was it like painful to do the workouts. It was just tiring and like super soreness, especially my right tricep. And then because it was like a really bad case of DOMS, I was like, well, there's a chance I might have a hernia, right? You know, that muscle there was, you know, weakened and it's repairing and maybe, maybe my intestines fucking poke through or some bullshit. But then, what's really stupid is that the symptoms of a hernia are pretty much the same symptoms of like a swollen lymph node. And fucking, it's sh So it's just like, eh, wait it out a couple of days if you're not- if you don't feel like you're dying, I guess... You know, whatever. Medicine hasn't really advanced that much in like the past- <laughs> In like the past hundred years. Most of it is just a doctor going, eh, I don't know. X-ray? Eh. Hey, Nanako, how's it going? Since you got Angel, you can hang out with her. It won't advance, though. Nanako, why do you hate me? Why do you hate me? Yeah. We're gonna hang out regardless, Nanako. There's no way I would ever say no to you. We gotta hang out with Dojima, too. Oh, shit, I can't hang out with Dojima. That's because I need understanding. Alright, you realize that you haven't bought anything from the shopping channel. Let's do that. What you got for me, Tanaka? Paladin armor, huh? Wait, don't I have paladin armor already? Longevity pills. Kitchen knife. Mythlike sword and kitchen knife. Don't I have a mythlike sword already? I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm rich as fuck. Give me that knife combo. I want to stab things. Thanks, Tanaka. You're the best. And by the best, I mean you're the worst. I fucking can't stand you. I do have a myth-like sword. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. I might have just wasted my money. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, so, you know, 
well, that's been happening. And then a bunch of games came out. Uh, what is it? Besides Ultimax, I think Room Factory 5 has finally released. I haven't bought it yet because I want to buy the special edition. So I'm going to have to head down to the store and just like grab like a physical copy of that. Of like the little collector's edition because it's Room Factory 5 and I waited fucking like what? 11 years now for this shit? Not 11, my bad. That's a stretch. What is it? Like 9 years? Room Factory 4 initially came out in... In 2014 in the US? Right? And then, uh... No, I think it was 2013 in the US, 2012 in Japan, and then 2014 in Europe. Because for some reason they had to wait a fucking extra year for God... I don't know why. But yeah. So that's out, finally. Fucking... It's very emotional for me. I love Room Factory. I have all the games. Uh, which, it, Room Factory is really emotional for me, especially when everyone was going crazy for both Stardew Valley and fucking Animal Crossing. Meanwhile, I'm sitting there in my room just like going like, but Room Factory is way better. It's a way better game, guys. Like, no cap, 100%. That game is way, that whole entire series is way fucking better than goddamn Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is not bad, may, like, may mind you, but you know whatever so there's that uh what is it tokyo ghost bullshit that came out and it's getting some mixed reviews and elden ring which i haven't played yet because i was going through all the other souls games on my own time and i got stuck on dark souls 2 because dark souls 2 fucking sucks but i punched my way through dark souls 1 i used fist weapons only that was fun only a couple of times i didn't use fist weapons one of them was orstein and smoke fuck those guys Trying a different regimen. Uh, not the possible hernia part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta rethink the workout routine. Um, yeah, if I, see, my workout routine is that because during my work hours, like when I go to my job, there are some, they, they give me like a long ass break, but they only like take 30 minutes off of my paycheck. Right? So, um, I'm gonna hang out oh, with Rizay. So, what ends up happening is that I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna start doing a bunch of body workouts, right? And like, get into calisthenics, see if I can do that. Switch up my whole entire diet. Which, which is equal parts easy and hard, because, you know, once I have the food that I need for my diet, right? Like, it's easy, I'm full 100% of the time, because it's mostly like, protein and pretty low carb, and I'm eating like fucking... 93% lean meat, right? So it's like very low calorie and, and very uh, filling. But once that food runs out, it's like, oh, now I got to grab everything else that's not really going to help me with that because it's high in fucking calories and carbs and bullshit and low in protein and stuff like that and all that annoying bullshit. And then the training itself is not that hard either. I also bought, um, I went and bought myself like, a new jump rope because I didn't like the one that I had. And then for like, you know, whenever I'm out of the house, I bought uh, some resistance bands and a, uh, I don't know the official name for it. It's like a, I, I just call it like suspension equipment, but most people call it TRX, but it's not TRX. I don't know what the fuck. It's a, it's like the fucking, um, it's kind of like gymnastic rings, but they're not gymnastic rings. They're just, it's like a, sash with like candles on it you put it over a bar and you kind of just do like inverted rows or some bullshit or some crap like that i don't fucking know i'm not a personal trainer don't ask me this shit <laughs> oh that reminds me the other senpai and the other senpai and me had a study session for the license exam the other day i'm pretty quick study so i'll be fine but i wonder if those two will be okay Jeez, if we don't get it together this summer is sunk could become closer Okay, yeah, let's hang uh -huh. out, Rize. Gotta get you up there. Holy shit, it's SP. How's it going? It's been so long. <laughs> Haven't watched Twitch in a while. Trust me, it's been long for me. Whenever, you know, it sucks that I only get like two nights out of the week that I can um stream, right? And whenever I'm not streaming, I get like this feeling in my stomach that's just like, Man, I really wish I can do it right now, but I can't. You know? 
and most of it is due most of it is just due to the fact of like the people i live with they're like so fucking loud and they argue all the goddamn time <laughs> and it's like i gotta sneak in some streams whenever i can so you know whenever whenever i uh Whenever everyone gets their shit together and people start moving out and stuff like that, which was supposed to happen like a year ago. Whenever that happens, uh, you know, schedule's gonna be opened up. I have some options right now. You know, I have one of my friends that constantly, he's like, come on, dude, let's do it. We can roommate this shit. And I'm like, eh, kind of, maybe, thinking about it. <laughs> of course I remember USP. Why wouldn't I? Listen, I'm not, I'm not famous yet. I'm not, I'm not gonna fucking, <laughs> I'm not to the point where I just go like, oh, whatever. Yeah, it's you. Hi. Hello. Here we go. It'll take a long time to get back, so I'll walk around quick. Wait, what? I didn't read that right. It'll take, let me reread that. It'll take time to get back, so let's walk around quick. So, uh, you come here often? Yeah, you know, there's not much for a selection where we live, right? Since I got a mule with me today, I think it's time for a shopping spree. Oh, come to think of it, where does Kanji buy his clothes? Are you talking about Kanji? <laughs> you can't find pointy stuff like those in Junaz, can you? Hmm. Does he buy them online? Maybe he makes them. I wish I could make my own clothes. Kind of like how, like, cyber goths make their own shit. Like, that stuff is really fucking cool. Aren't you reset? I... 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 No. No, I'm not. Let's go, senpai. Damn. Rize dragged you away. Thought I would be by now? Nah. Maybe... Maybe if I just kept streaming and never stopped, I would. I don't know. I suck at this, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I just, my main thing, instead of trying to shove my content down people's throats and go and like constantly posting like, guys, guess what I uploaded today, you know? On like Twitter and shit and like Facebook and stuff like that. It's like, I suck at marketing. To me, it's just like, hey man, whoever wants to watch some shit, I'm playing some shit, you wanna watch it? Sure, whatever, wanna talk about some bullshit, we'll do it. Right? You know, instead of just, instead of like... Fuck, how do I explain it? It's kind of like how on YouTube nowadays, if you don't have your face plastered on a thumbnail, like, no one really gives a fuck. You know what I mean? Instead of me being like, the person on YouTube with a thumbnail that, that shows you what their face looks like when they're ready to start sucking someone off. You know? <laughs> They just never learn. But I told them. I told them today, senpai. No, I'm not. You're mistaken. I'm not reset. And it's true. I'm no longer reset. I'm just an ordinary girl. <laughs> Which is fine with me. I never thought I'd be out in public like this. I love Inaba, senpai. You see the same faces every day, rumors spread fast, and there are times when it gets on my last nerves. And sometimes I feel like I might be better off if I was in a big city full of strangers. But even then, I love that town. You're there, Grandma's there, and all above, and all above, I, I, I rearranged those words. And above all, there's something I can do there. Let's keep it, let's keep at it, senpai. When you're speedrunning now, just thinking about starting to stream it. Go ahead. People love speedrunners. Me, I don't. The closest to speedrunning I will ever get is uh, is if it's like in the game itself, right? Like um, maybe maybe not maybe not that exam maybe not this example I'll give, but you know how Crash Bandicoot has like has like the um the platinum tokens and stuff like that you can get i probably would never speed run crash because i love crash bandicoot oh my god i fucking love crash bandicoot but um i suck at crash bandicoot so i probably would never do that but like something like 
Resident Evil 2 Remake where there's like the tofu mode and the hunk mode and like if you speed run the game on on a on hard and you finish it within three hours I think or two and a half hours you get like infinite rocket launcher right yeah <laughs> crash <laughs> stupid ass crash meme wow I feel that you uh, you feel that you understand Riza even better On a scale of 1 to 10, I understand her by 3. Rize's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. Full analysis. Nice. Along with the affinities you attack in the past, you can now learn what skills the enemies possess as well. I didn't see any One Pieces that clicked with me, so I guess we should go home. Let's go, Senpai. Persona 4... Not even, my bad. I don't know why I said Persona 4. Persona in general. Well, I guess maybe Persona 4. No, I guess Persona 3 is the one to like really go on. It's so fucking weird to see like if, if you play Persona from the beginning, right? And I mean like the beginning. I mean like PS1, home. fucking USA Lunar Veil, vale. Mark is a black guy, <laughs> right? <laughs> You know, original Persona 1, you know, Shimigami Tensei, Revelations Persona. To see it go from, welcome to Lunar Veil USA, and we changed all the characters, hair colors, and races because... And like, deleted half the game because Americans are too stupid. And then you go to Persona 4 and 5, and you just have characters that just are all up in your face going like, What's up, Senpai? Senpai noticed me. All right, let's see. Um, let's head out at night. Did I hear the rumor of RE4 Remake? Rumor. 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 <laughs> my buddy, my dude, my guy. That has not been a, that has never been a secret. Like when RE2 Remake got announced, everyone knew RE4 Remake was gonna get mid. The only ones that people were like iffy on was RE3, and if there's possibly going to be an RE5 remake, which it probably won't be, RE5 will probably not get remade. I don't see that happening at all. But RE3 was the one where people were like, maybe it might happen, it might not, and if they do it, it's not going to have as much love as RE2 and RE4. But like, rumor for RE4 remake, ain't no fucking rumor. <laughs> I mean, it's been confirmed already. This increases my courage. Not today. I mean, it's already been confirmed that they're working on RE4. But even like way before that, it's like, it's one of the worst kept secrets ever. Kind of like how, kind of how like it was like, uh, is Virgil going to be playable in DMC5? And it's like, yeah. No fucking duh, guys. It's fucking Virgil, come on. My family crest is a demon of death. <laughs> Fucking dumbass song. <laughs> Virgil's song is so fucking stupid. Edgy ass motherfucker. My family crest is a demon of death. What a goddamn loser. Uh, really need to go on the internet more? It's not even, it's not even, like, going on the internet more, because even I don't look up, like, um, I don't really look up, like, leaks and stuff like that. I wanna, I would probably say the last leak that I looked at, or peeked at, and it was, like, by complete accident, it was people going, like, Oh my god, man, Sly Cooper 5's gonna get announced for, like, the fourth year in a row. It's being leaked, guys. And it's, like... If it happens, it happens. If it does, and it does it, I would love for Sly Cooper 5. Oh my fucking god, I would lose my mind. But, come on, guys. For years, we've been saying this shit. You know? I'm home. And stay off TikTok, yeah. That's something that I... The only time I ever watch TikTok is not even because of TikTok itself. It's like I'll see a compilation on YouTube 
and then there'll be TikTok videos in it and half the time I just want to click off the video because it's because I like everything on TikTok everything on YouTube and TikTok has to be like a quote unquote challenge now and I don't know what the fuck that's about and I just hate the shit where like where like someone posts something on TikTok or whatever and it's like uh it's like in the fucking automated robotic voice like reading something off the fucking screen or something like that bark at your dog and see what they do like like hearing that shit just makes me not want to care you know welcome home dad sorry later nanako but this paper what about that paper scheduling of parent teacher interviews Man. not conferences interviews <laughs> a survey huh Fine. It's fine. It's fine, okay? You don't have to write anything. You don't have to come. It's just another case to you, right? It's more work, isn't it? Bad people and everyone else are more important to you than me, huh? Damn, Nautico. You're not real. You're not my real dad. Uh, hey. Nautico. Wait. It's gotten into her. Let's go. Let's leave her alone. <laughs> it's nighttime. She runs out by herself. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Now is not the time to stand around asking questions. You seem pretty underwhelmed by this, Dojima. He's just like, oh, she ran away. The fuck's that about? <laughs> Instead of him going like, Nanako! I'll go check Junez. You go look around the shopping district. I'm counting on you. You need to find Nanako. And Stat. Some of the YouTube shorts cause you physical pain. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You do lightsaber videos on TikToks. Can spin really good. I wish I could. You, that fucking like single hand spin shit. I wish I can do it, because, I don't know, I see people do it, but my arm just doesn't turn that way, right? My wrist doesn't do that shit, and it sucks, because I'm like, I wish I can do it. I want to be cool. I want to be a cool guy. You don't see Nanaka. Hey! I ran into Dojima-san at Junez, and he told me what happened. Sheesh. You could have just asked. We got a call from Yosuke-kun. I'm sure if we all look, we'll find her. Hey, do you know what kind of place she might have gone? A place where Nanako would go. You recall that Nanako said her family used to go to Simagawa with her mother when her mother was still alive. Do a double-bladed, one-handed spin. Like Darth Maul? I would love to do shit like that. It's it's Darth Maul only cool for the fact that he has a fucking two-sided lightsaber. <laughs> I think that's the only reason he's cool. You told your friends about Simagawa. Hmm. I keep saying Simagawa. I don't know how it's actually pronounced, but whatever. All right, you. All right, you. You head straight there. That's weird to say. That's our best bet. The rest of us split up and look around. If anyone finds anything, give the others a ring, okay? I used to have, like, these cool-ass red pants, like Yosuke. Well, I still have them. But now I lost enough weight to where they just don't fit me no more. So, and they were like, I like those pants. I like them a lot. And now I just look at them, because I'm like... <sighs> I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> I'm like, they don't fit me no more, they're too big. Even a belt wouldn't help. I'm kinda mad. You, did you find Nanako? Damn. Damn it. Where is she? Nanako. Could you talk to her? I'm not her real father, huh? Please. You? You should go pick her up. 
She'll listen to you. Okay. Sorry, Sorry about this. As long as Nanako's okay, I'm fine. Please. Big bro? What's up, girl? Why'd you come here? What you doing out here, girl? I came with mom. Nanako looks lonely. He told Nanako that her father was the one who found her. He was looking for me? Did dad say anything about the river? Did he forget about mom? He never talks about her. I want to see mom. Nanako is struggling not to cry. Through Nanako's fierce resolve, you feel that your relationship with her has grown deeper. Rank 7. Your power to create personas of the Justice Arcana has grown! Dad must have forgotten Mom. There aren't any pictures of her at home. He probably threw them all away. Is he gonna throw me away too? Uh, he won't abandon you. I'm going home. Let's go home together. You called your friends and told them that Nanako was safe. You returned home with Nanako. You gonna go speedrun Ghost of Tsushima? Good luck. I did a playthrough of Ghost of Tsushima. It's on the YouTube channels. If you want to watch that. All you can do for now is wait for the police to make their move. What should you do today? I haven't played the uh, PS5. Well, I played the PS5 version, but I haven't played the um, the uh, it's go. added DLC for that shit. If you don't have any plans, want to hang out today? Co? No. I see. Don't ever call me again. Cool. <laughs> and that's how we deal with that. That's honestly how I deal with my friends in real life. They'll call me and be like, yo, you want to do something today? And I'll be like, no. Don't talk to me. And I'll just hang up. That reminds me, I remember, uh... <laughs> so I don't do it all the time, but I do it sometimes, right? I'll be like, no. <laughs> Especially when, like... They call me on a day that I work, on like a work night, because I work overnights, and then they call me at like fucking 8 o'clock at night, and I'm getting ready to go to bed, because I got like a couple of hours until I head to work, and they're like, yo, wanna hang out tonight? And I'm like, motherfucker, you know that I work tonight. Why the hell are you... Why? Ah, <laughs> oh, we can head to the movie theaters near your job, and then you can just like, go to work right after. Like, no, I don't want to do that. I really don't. You want to hang out with me, fucking call me earlier in the day. Where I'm still like, kind of halfway awake, you know? <laughs> Seems reasonable. I know uh, earlier this week or whatever, I was getting off of work at like 10 in the morning and then someone called me. They were like, yo, want to hang out today? And I was like, I was thinking about it. I was like, sure, okay, what time are you thinking? And they were like, uh, probably like 11. And I was like, all right, that's like an hour from now. No problem. I'll hang out with you for like maybe four hours or five or something like that, depending on what the hell we do. And then just go home and go to sleep and head to work. And then fucking hour pass. I'm in my home waiting because they were going to come pick me up. And then fucking uh, I text them because it's getting like 1130. And I'm like, are we still uh, still uh, hanging out? What are we doing? And they text me back. They're like, oh, I got to go. Uh fucking drop my brother off to like a soccer game or whatever and I'm like okay and then like 1230 comes around and they're like I'm like what's going on they're like they're like well my mom's telling me I gotta watch my brother for the day or whatever so I'm stuck at home and I was like okay all right it's not your fault so then I texted them and I was like well since you're stuck at home and I'm still awake for like a couple of hours 
I want to play some Final Fantasy 14. You know, you still got to level up your character on that. And then silence. <laughs> just conversation just going. In the moment I said, so Final Fantasy 14 then, since you're not doing anything. And then not a reply. And I was like, oh, okay. Got real quiet, huh? That was like the last text I sent. I was like, hmm, got real quiet. <laughs> like, listen. It's up to you. You want to play 14? Sure. I just sat there. I was like, all right, listen, I, I'm i caught up on 14. I ain't got to fucking play it. I still pay my sub monthly because I'm crazy. But like, I don't got to fucking play it. I'm caught up. I'm waiting for Pandemonium to get updated, baby. <laughs> that, that shit's like Castlevania. Do I have an Aeon with me? While I'm running around in circles? Yes, I do. Amino Uzumi, she's an Aeon. Marie, hang out with me. We're friends. You're late. Bitch. <laughs> We're, you're late. I forgot she says that shit. Let's go somewhere. You're helping me remember, right? You did promise her that. It will deepen. Yeah, sure, Hurry, let's hang let's out. Go. Marie can't wait. You decide to take Marie somewhere where she can calm down. Simogawa Riverbank. Marie practically dragged you here. So about my memories. What do you think I should do? Um, you got any clues? No, nothing. Like I said before, this is the only thing I remember. Marie shows you the bamboo comb again. If you remember, I t wait, what? Okay, yeah, I did read that right. If you remember, I told you that I had this when I was when I first started remembering. Will this help? Mm, it's made of bamboo. Is that so? Bamboo? What? Is that rare? But this doesn't look like the ones that the ones that are at Junez. They don't look anything like this. Marie looks very interested for once. It seems older. Do you know of any stores that might sell stuff like this? What store around here might deal in old combs? The Tofu Shop? Junez? I don't know, let's head to the textile shop. You recall that Kanji's family runs a textile shop. You might know something about the old bamboo comb. Tell Marie about the Tatsumi textile. Tatsumi Textiles. That old timer's place? Hmm. It's kind of surprising. Let's go. Well, let's go. The shopping district, was it? Let's go, Poochie. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention I started buying a bunch of fucking Wii U games because that shit's going away. Even though there's a chance that whenever I buy older games, they instantly get re released. Like JoJo's Bizarre Adventures, All-Star Battle. I had that game when it came out, and then I sold it, and then I rebought it like, I want to say five months ago, because that game was fucking pretty rare, so I got it on, on what would be considered a steal, because that game's like worth 250 something dollars, right? So I got it for like 130 And then fucking, like, what was it? Last week, they announced that they're redoing the game. Like, thanks. Same thing happened with Nier. Same thing happened with fucking, um... With, the uh, With fucking Kingdoms of Amalar. Like, one of the games that had the highest probability of never getting remastered. And then suddenly they're like, like, literally a week after I got the game, and I was like, I'll play this later, I'll probably record it. And then they're like, Kingdoms of Amalar Reawakening is coming out. And I'm like, go fuck yourself, man. Come on. Oh, Senpai. <laughs> senpai, what a coincidence. Oh, Marie's Ch Marie Chan's here with you too. Huh? Wait, don't tell me the two of you are on a date. Hmm. We got some business here. Sheesh, don't scare me like that. Hey Kanji, Senpai needs you to talk. Huh? What's up? Do you know, do you know what this is? Tell me anything you know, anything at all. 
this thing. It's a, uh, it's a comb. It's a pretty damn old one. And that's a comb. It looks like it's very easy to use with that shape. So, what do you want from me? You need me to figure out where this thing came from? Anything at all, really. Uh, I don't know anything, but... Hey, Ma! Come over here! Yo! Oh yeah, Kanji's mom might know something about it. I hear you, I hear you. Don't shout so loud. Oh, hello. I haven't seen you in a while. Is this girl another of, of Kanji's friends? She wanted to know about this comb. You know anything, Ma? A comb? Let me see. I'm slowly starting to hate Kanji more and more now because Ultimax, you know, because Persona 4 Ultimax got re-released and Kanji's a grappler in that game and he does hella fucking damage and he's not, he's not like, he's not like a grappler in the sense of like he's big and slow because he has a move where he can just jump in the air and lunge forward and just grab you from halfway across the screen and it's like motherfucking Kanji, him and his goddamn lunging and his fucking, he throws a chair too. He's pretty mobile for a fucking grappler. It's a pain in the ass. He gets like three grapples on you, you're pretty much dead. Fucking Kanji, god damn it, I hate you, you fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, we don't carry anything like this one. Oh, can you tell me anything about it? Anything at all? I've never seen a comb shaped like this. I don't think... Why the fuck do people keep saying that? I've never seen a comb shaped like a comb! Like what? I never seen a comb shaped like this. I don't think it would be for everyday use. You may have better luck asking a museum or a gallery than at a clothing store. A museum. Oh, so it's rare. Well, I don't know if it's rare, but it's definitely not something that would be sold around here. Huh? If it's not sold, then where then where is somebody gonna get one? Come on, lady, help us out here. Don't talk to your mother like that. There was definitely a there's definitely like a time in my life where I referred to my mom as lady. <laughs> I still do it sometimes. And she just got used to it. I'd be like, whatever, lady. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't be any help. But I've but I really never seen anything like this. Why do I have this? Would it have been given oh God. Would it have been given Shit. Would I have been given it as a gift? If he did that, he'd be done for. <laughs> yeah. I think I think the only time where someone really got like mad is when I fucking described my family as you people. And then they got fucking upset and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, get upset if you want. Combs don't make very good gifts. The world uh, the word for comb is kushi, as in kushinando. That sounds for the words for pain, ku, and death, she. It's an old belief that combs have the power to cause separation. But I don't know if kids today care about stuff like that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Thinking about like symbolism and shit like that. Fucking. Oh, I can't wait till I uh, fucking do like a playthrough of Okami. Jesus. That game has a shit ton of fucking. Fucking, um. Uh, Symbolism and shit like that. That game loves like triple entendres and shit like that. It's crazy. Huh? I didn't know that. But now that you think about it, it does have those words in it. Are you in? Uh, are you in Tet? Fuck. Are you in Tetsumi san? May I have a word with you? I'm coming. Just a moment, please. Kanji, please see to our guests. I need to speak with the customer. Please make yourself at home. Pain and death, huh? Yeah, I guess I wouldn't want to give someone that. She said separation. I didn't know that combs are actually bad luck. Separation? Um. Hmm. Marie-chan, are you alright? Does your head hurt? Whoa, you okay? Sit your ass down and get some rest. Marie grimaces. That's a word. Grimace. 
Uh, even now I would cease to exist. <laughs> I'm done for. My physics exam results were not good. Oh. That's not good. Damn. Let's see. Do you remember something, Murray? I don't know. But there's something. It's gone. I can't remember. Something came up in my mind. I was almost about to recall it. Marie looks vexed. What? Can't remember. You don't remember anything about that comb? Huh? Huh? Wait a second. That's not your comb? Don't worry about it. It's my problem. This isn't a normal comb, huh? What did she say? A museum? A gallery? A galeri? <laughs> a museum? A galeri? Hmm. Galeri. That reminds me, uh, when my niece was, like, super young, she used to call Fruit Loops Fruit Roops. So now whenever I see Fruit Loops, I go, Fruit Roops! She hates it. But I make fun of her for it. Fruit Roops. I love Fruit Roops. <laughs> Maybe I'll remember something if we go to one of those. You help, too. You can feel Marie's trust for you. You feel that your relationship with Marie has grown deeper. It's not too bad, but you don't even feel like you understand most of what's going on. How's the, rem how's the rest of the semester going to play out? Damn. I remember, uh, I think there was only, like, one test that I ever had, like, a hard time with, and I think it was, like, trigonometry or some bullshit, and it was, like, the state final or some bullshit. And there's, like, this one question, I don't remember it quite clearly, but... It was some question about a fucking triangle and some dumb shit. And I just did not understand what the hell they were asking me. I still passed it, though. It wasn't like... Honestly, it was my lowest score that I got. It was like a... What was it? Like a 75? The rest of my scores for, like, my final exams and shit was, was like... Uh, one was 95. One was... Uh, 89. Not 89. 95, 98. And then the other one was, like, a 90. Yeah, a lot, a lot of teachers, a lot of teachers would be like, yep, he's smart, he just doesn't do shit. And I'm like, yep, because school sucks, and it's a waste of time. I'm tired, I'm going home today, but let's continue this later. What's up with her? Rachon's a bit mysterious. Senpai, Rachon's leaving. Well, see ya. After thanking Kanji and Rize, you escort Marie back to the development room. Oh, welcome home, big bro. There was a delivery for you. Left it on the table. Kitchen knife. I may have wasted money. I might have wasted money. Let's see. Y Yosuke? You got throwing kunai? Oh, kitchen knife is better? Alright, cool. Not a complete waste. And I mean, I already have a myth-like sword, so there's really no reason. I do have paladin armor. How much do I have? Oh shit, I got a bunch. So I would have wasted money regardless. Alright. Nanako, where are you at? You're at 7? You're at 7. Dojima's at... Where's Dojima? Dojima's... Wait. She's at 7. Dojima's at 5. Okay, cool. Oh, you don't even want to hang out with me tonight. Well, fuck you, Nanako. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nanako. I take it back. I don't mean it. I look at the recommended tab on my Twitch right now. Which, first of all, I don't know why it's there. Because I have an add-on that should get rid of that. I fucking hate seeing recommended shit. <laughs> I hate it so much. Hey, I think you would like to watch this. It's like, no, I actually wouldn't. It's like when YouTube goes like, don't you want to watch someone scream at their camera for like five hours? And I'm like, no, no, I don't. Why are you asking me this? Uh, understanding. Translates expression, envelope is delicate. Cranes? I think cranes is understanding. Yeah, understanding. There we go. The colorful origami paper is giving you eye strain. Use dull paper. Why would I do that? Let your eyes relax. 
Your hands went ahead and made cranes while you daydreamed. You woke up to a mountain of origami cranes. Nice. The bundle of cranes have not been completed. You have to complete them next time. Oh, it's raining. We can take the beef bowl challenge. Besides, t besides uh, torturing yourself with physics and, and organic chemistry in one semester, your classmates are nice and all seem to want to work together. That's great. That's really fucking awesome, actually. Because in my, like, when I, uh, when I was in high school or whatever, like, well, when I was in high school, I spent like two years of not going to high school because I just didn't feel like it. And then I would go to school and still get everything right. And people would just look at me and hate, they fucking hated me for it. And I would still get all these privileges. It's like, how come he gets to wear his headphones in class? Because he's not failing. <laughs> it's like, people hated me. You know, people equally hated me, but also I was one of those, I was one of those, I was one of those weird kids that were kind of like an anomaly because I hung out with both the lo the losers and the cool kids, right? And like people would always come up to me with like their problems and bullshit. Sometimes it was a little annoying. I'm not going to lie. I remember there were a lot of people that would come up and be like, yo, do I smell like weed today? Like, man, I burnt my, I burnt a hole in my fucking sleeve because I was smoking in between periods. And I'll just be like, can you get away from me, please? <laughs> man, I'm both drunk and high as fuck. Do you think the teachers are going to notice as I'm crying and my eyes are bloodshot? It's like, and I'm like, no, you're good, man. Fuck out my face. <laughs> get away from me. <laughs> right? The only, the only type of kids I never hung out with was like the, like the real weird kids, like the, the really weird ones, like the kids that made the fucking like 10 o'clock morning news because they decided to put paint thinner in someone's thermos because it was a joke, bro. April fools. Ha ha. Gave you poisoning. Ha <laughs> ha. It's funny. Those were the only people I didn't hang out with. It was those people and the people who wore, like, cattails and ears, like, every single day to school, and it was, like, the same pair, and you really question whether they put them in a wash or not. And it's like, oh, man. I don't want to call you weird because you like anime or whatever, because that's not really weird to me. What's weird is that you're wearing it every day, and I highly question if you, if you put that shit in the goddamn washing machine. That was only like a set group of people, like maybe like 12 at, at maximum. <laughs> but other than that, I was, I was pretty much friends with everybody. I can't hang out with anyone today. What about Yosuke? Can I hang out with Yosuke before I do this rainy day bullshit? Yosuke, are you available? You're not. That sucks. Yeah, I know. Oh dear, right? Like I hung out with I hung out with the sports kids, the jocks, the cool guys, the kids who hung out after school, the kids who would go out on lunch. I also hung out. I also went to um I was one of the I was one of like three students that that had to like get a petition started to fucking let the school use the new gym, the new like um like we, uh, we, our school invested in like a new gym with like a bunch of new weights and like mats and shit like that. And, and me and like two of my other friends had to fucking like, we had to make a petition to be like, Hey man, can we like open this shit up for like a fitness club after school? Because you guys aren't really using it because the athletes are still using the old weights that we have in like the other side of the school. So what's the fucking point of having the new area if you never use it? So we did that, right? And I was also, uh, I was also friends with the drama kids. I did a lot in school. <laughs> it was to the point where it's like, a lot of people knew me. Like, 
at school, but the moment like they were around me, around my family and shit like that, I was a completely different person. Hide all that shit away. All right. Gotta do it once. <clears throat> once a stream. Gotta read all this shit. Here we go. Let's see if I fuck it up. You accepted the rainy day... A oh, fire and fucked it up. God damn it. You accepted the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You still can't see the rice. You begin to suspect that your bowl is a portal to the meat dimension. The amount of meat contained within this bowl is truly staggering. In order to finish this bowl, you must have understanding of your limits, knowledge to control your pace, courage to face the unrelenting tide of beef, and the diligence to persevere against this colossal challenge. All these traits are necessary to master the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. You are unable to finish your meal in your current state. Aww, sadness. You tried your best to finish the rainy day special mega beef bowl challenge. I keep saying special. <laughs> special mega beef bowl challenge. And your personality has grown tremendously. Your understanding has increased. Your knowledge has increased. Your diligence has increased. Aya, uh, too bad, mister. Pay me money now. Get the fuck out my store. Dishonor to your family. <laughs> Dishonor on you! Dishonor on your cow! That's my favorite. Dishonor on your cow! <laughs> like, fucking Mushi, what? Oh, you're home. <laughs> All you remember was banned from high school. Yeah. High school is one of those weird things where, like, you can be friends with everybody, but at the end of the day, like, you're only really gonna be friends with, like, maybe four people when you leave high school. Right? four maybe five like i still have some people's numbers other people like when i got a new phone i didn't even bother putting their number in my fucking phone right you know <laughs> so you know it's weird <laughs> it's weird i'm not at that point yet where where like i'm an adult and i'm just like oh man i really need to make more friends because i still go to work and there's like a bunch of people there that i can hang out with and i fucking you know I got their numbers and shit like that. I can call them up if I ever want to do some shit. Which, it's rarely. <laughs> Work as a janitor tonight. I also used to be part of band too. In middle school though. Uh, I started out with the saxophone. And then... I started out with the saxophone. And then I moved schools. And since I moved schools. I just fucking stopped playing the saxophone. Honestly I don't even know what the fuck happened to that saxophone. That I had. Probably in the garbage somewhere. And then at the new school. I was like eh, I'll try band again I guess. So I was like. Eh, I'll do trumpet. Because when I did saxophone. I was like the only person in the school. Who was playing the sax. And then I was like I'll do trumpet I guess. And then it was just me and some other dude. And I was like. Nah, I'm done. <laughs> it sucks because I wish, I wish, uh, I wish I could fucking play an, an instrument. I really want to learn how to play the saxophone, saxophone, piano, and probably uh, like a string instrument. Maybe like acoustic guitar, or some bullshit. <laughs> play trumpet from middle school to high school. Yeah, I don't even know what the fuck happened to my trumpet either. I know my sister, uh, my oldest sister, she used to play the clarinet and she did that shit for like a while, like a long ass time. But if I, if I were to tell her to take the clarinet out now, she would probably be like, I don't know how to do that shit. <laughs> um. It's not ready to advance yet. Whatever. Yeah. Hang out with me, Nanako. You're the best. Anxiety has kept you from talking to people. <laughs> that would be cool to hang with. Anxiety has kept me from swiping right on people on dating apps. Even though... Even though, like... I have a... I fucking... I think it was like when I got out of high school, I was like, fuck it, man. Because I didn't really like anyone in my high school, honestly. Um... So like I got fucking I got Bumble or whatever and then at the time I was like fuck it hundred dollars for like a fucking lifetime account or whatever why not so I paid the hundred bucks or whatever and I still got that account right and it's still active and I get to see who like I never swipe myself <laughs> I get to see who likes me and then half of the time I'm just like do I really want to do that right now I'm like oh this person looks cool. 
but do I really want to do that right now? How much should I spend on a date? Right? Should I take an Uber? This person is like fucking 30 minutes away from me. 40 minutes maybe. <laughs> I also I also started experimenting too to where it was like uh where I was like, you know what? Instead of just going for like people like within like a five year range of me, I was like, let's just kick it up. Let's just kick up the limit to like forty. See who I get. Right? And then and then oh my god. There's a lot of there's a lot of moms out there who who are just out there. <laughs> Every time I just go like, damn, someone's mom is trying to make me a father. You know, I'm not opposed to older women. But it's like, it's like a real surprise when you just, when you just kick that up and you're like, damn, <laughs> you're like, for real? It's like that? The whole game has changed. No one wants to hang out with me on a rainy day. I feel sad. I'm all alone. Yosuke, come on, Yosuke, become available, damn it. I need you, buddy. Dating seems like an investment. It is. It is an investment. It is an investment in both the best way and the worst way. Don't take my word for it because you never did date. It's just how it sounds. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of sadness in the dating scene, especially if you're using, like, apps. If you're using apps, prepare to just be like, eh, someone swiped on you, that doesn't mean they want to talk to you. <laughs> Which is really confusing, because it's like, why even? You know? Why even waste the time? I'm getting no stat boost from this shit, come on, man. Come on, give me something. Oh, story! The week ended on a wet note as rain clouds moved into the area. I'll make you end on a wet note. Yeah, that's right. I said it. I went there. As a result, a thick fog is expected to form in the Inaba region later tonight. It seems the fog will set in tonight. Good night, Nanako. Nanako, it's raining and you got the fucking fan on you. That's... You know what? Whatever. I'm the same type of guy. I'm the type of guy that has an air conditioner in his room fucking in the middle of winter. You're not cold? No, I'm not cold. It's midnight. The fog has set in. No one is appearing on the Midnight Channel. Wonder what happened to Mitsuo Kubo after the police took him away. I still haven't watched Kubo and the Two Strings. I wanted to watch that when it was on Netflix, but now I, now I think it's not on Netflix anymore, so I kind of missed it. <laughs> Fog is covering the town. That's crazy. Being honest before you drop the subject, it feels like you want to start dating, but you don't know where or how to. Yeah, exactly. It's like once you get to, it's like if you weren't dating in high school, once you get out there in the world, it it's like, where do I start? Right? A lot of people, there's always a lot of people who put their fucking, their monocles and top hats on and they go, oh my, you need to go out there and meet people and fucking, I would never, never privy myself to a dating app. And it's like. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you're acting like, you're acting like you want to, like, nowadays, you're acting like you can just walk up to someone in a bar and be like, yo, what's up? Without them going like, motherfucker, get away from me, I don't know you. Right? Like, that's just how it is. Like, it's, it's way less scary to get rejected from someone not swiping on you than to fucking talk to someone who's just gonna instantly be like don't touch me don't talk to me get away from me i'm here with my friends why would i want to talk to a stranger i guess the closest thing you can do at a bar is like 
to meet someone so like head to a lounge bar but that's if you're looking for like you know older people all right there's also like the meetup app or whatever there's like some speed dating bullshit that you can do but i don't know. like you know it's weird it's really weird there's also people who look for for dates like at their jobs I don't know. I remember I was, uh, I remember when I was in school. When I was in no, not when I was in school. What the fuck am I saying? That was a different job. <laughs> I was out of school. I was like 20 at the time, and I was working at a restaurant, and one of the, one of the, um, women that worked there with me, they're like, oh man, I have a daughter, and... I would totally like for you to meet her. You seem like a really nice guy or whatever. And I'm like, and in my mind, I'm like, my first thought was like, no, no, I'm just not really interested in anything right now. But then out of curiosity, I was like, I was like, by chance, how old is your daughter? She's like, oh, 15. It's okay, though. And I'm like, no, <laughs> she's 15. The fuck, mom? What are you doing? It's like, what the hell? You're it's late. okay though, I'm the mom. It will deepen. That's cool. Hurry, let's go. Yeah, let's go, Murray. Let's do this. You don't know if you'd be interested enough to speed date? I don't think anyone would be interested enough to speed date, really. I don't even know how the fuck that would work. It's like your name, your occupation, your social security number, and that's it, right? <laughs> Only speed date be is them leaving. Exactly. I'm gonna get this. What am I supposed to do? The lady at the store said this comb was something special. She said it was old. Yeah, she did. So, uh, she also said that she'd never seen one like this before. What did she say? Museum? Gallery? <laughs> Galeri? <laughs> I don't know why that makes me smile. Head to the Galeri. Would there be combs there? I don't get it. That don't make any sense. What are they going to use them for? Works of art? Antiques. And what? You mean old and dirty things? Oh, but maybe it is. It's just like one of those, this comb has no point. Marie is impressed. Do you know anyone who knows about this stuff? Who around here you would, would know about antiques? Old man Di Didara? I don't even know how to say it. The, I, the noodle man would know about antiques. Old lady. And Shiroku. Hmm. I would say the guy who's fucking around with samurai armor and shit would know about it, right? Come to think of it, the owner of Daidara considers himself an artist. He may know something about the Rukum. You told Marie about Daidara. Hope I'm saying that right. So... There's someone who might know. Hmm. This town has a ton of weird people. Let's go. You're fucking one to talk, Marie. This town got weird people. Shopping district, Daidara. They sell these? Who would buy them? I mean... <laughs> who would buy these swords and shit? I mean... The guy who fucking goes into the Shadow World. Also me, the person who has a goddamn sword in the corner of his room right now because I'm a loser. Yuki-chan, wait for me. All this stuff is so heavy. Oh. I knew it. Good day, Yuki. Marie-chan. Huh? Sensei. Emi-chan. Oh. oh, looks like I've stumbled across a big scoop. Well, well. And what about you two? I should be asking you that question, Yukiko. Hmm. With Teddy behind my back? How dare you? Oh no. What should I do? They're on to us, Yukicha. I'm buying supplies for the inn. I ran into Teddy on the way, so I'm letting him carry everything. What? Yukicha totally blew me off. It's all piled up next to the store. I can't carry another thing. Who's this? 
How cruel! Emi-chan, you already forgotten about little Teddy? And after all the heavy petting you gave my fur. Oh, that's right. You never met Teddy outside of his costume yet. Teddy? Oh, kindness and fur. Correct, that's my Emi-chan. This is love. This has to be the power of love. Yeah, it's not. I'm not sure about that one, Chief. What are you two doing here? Oh, shopping, I guess. At this store? We're doing some research. I see. But here, though? This. Hey, do you know what this is? Oh, this is... This is very unique comb. What about it? I want to learn about it. You know anything? Hmm? Hmm? I'm sorry, I don't know anything. Me neither. I've never seen this before. But it really but it's really pretty. Nice and shiny. Ah, so that's why you're here. The owner does seem like he know about antiques. I knew it. Will he know anything about it? I'm not sure, but let's ask and find out. Alright. Leave it to the in what the fuck? In bear in bear what the fuck? Embarrigation? God, Teddy, if I can just ch ch fucking shoot you, I would. Leave the embarrigation to me. Hey, buddy, I got some questions. For me? Well, unless it's about art, you ain't getting any answers. Wow, Teddy, nice job. Hmm, do you know anything about this? A comb? I don't sell comb. This here's a butte. Good craftsmanship. Pretty old, too. Mmm, <laughs> remarkable craftsmanship. <laughs> I remember that fucking, uh, what was it? It's like a Dragon Ball animation. <laughs> About King Cold looking at Trunks' sword. Quotation marks. <laughs> He's like, mmm, your sword. Yeah, it's remarkable craftsmanship. And yet it doesn't show much wear. It's perfect. Almost too perfect. Where'd you get this? Um... Mm, I don't... Do you know anything about this? We'd be grateful for anything you could tell us. Ah, uh, nope. It's a comb, definitely, but whether it's just an accessory or part of a festival, he heck, I don't even know when it was made. Oh. I see. Well, hold on there, Missy. I can at least tell you what it's made out of. This is, yep, it's not Dravage Bamboo. Something similar to a rare type of bamboo that grows in the Chugoku region. But it's not. No, but it's definitely not normal bamboo. It's beautiful. Though, I almost think it's something from another world. Another world? So what world is it from? I don't understand. <sighs> you alright, Marie? Marie looks like she's in pain. You, uh... You, you doing alright? Hmm. Uh, un all right. My head hurts. Whoa. Whoa, hold on there. Missy, I've got a first aid kit around here somewhere. I'll go look for some medicine too. Maybe faster to go to go get some from a neighbor. Got to go to sleep for classes tomorrow. Thanks for the stream and chat. Oh, thanks for stopping by. Make sure you get that sleep. Fucking especially for classes. I mean, Summer, summer break's coming up, right? <laughs> I don't know. I might stream uh, tomorrow in the daytime, too. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. If I do, it'll probably be... Probably something I can do quick, right? Maybe like Dead by Daylight or Mario Kart. Mario Kart might be fun. Some online karting. What up, Yuki-chan? I'll go with you. What is this? I don't get it. This is bugging me. Something pops up, and then it just disappears. Just when I had it. Take it easy, Marie, alright? I wasn't doing anything. My head just started hurting, and then... It makes me angry. I still can't remember anything. Marie's trying hard to regain her lost memory. You can sense Marie's urgency. Oh, we're at seven already? Damn. 
The Marie Social Link has reached level 7. I'm going home. My head still hurts. Bye. After- wow. Wow, that was a really rude bye. Okay. Fuck you too, Marie. Jesus. <laughs> After thinking every one, you escort Marie back to the velvet room. That was really, like, blunt. Bye. <laughs> like, okay. Wow, what a great spread. I've never seen so many pieces of fatty tuna. Well, if you're gonna have a celebration, you can't do it halfway. Yeah, you can. Celebration? That's what <laughs> that's what employers do all the time. Eh, we treat you like shit for a year, but hey, it's Employee Appreciation Day. Here's some pizza, I guess. I don't fucking know. We didn't ask you what kind of pizza you wanted. We just got cheese pizza. Assumed everybody liked it. Ah, it's about this. Watch. I didn't care who it was. I was pissed off. I wanted to be famous. The suspect was often heard saying these things. And they all came from TikTok. Wow. The young suspect has confessed to being the culprit behind the recent cases, but he's shown no remorse so far. Because of several inconsistencies in the boy's deposition, some have called for a mental examination to be carried out. Until then, the police will be continuing their investigation to shed light on all the prior incidents. It was actually really tough to make a case out of this. All we had was the suspect's confession and some circumstantial evidence. But the lab found the perp's prints on the victim's clothes, so we made it stick after all. Man, isn't crime scene investigation something? Who would have thought you could get viable prints from cloth? Everyone. Everyone who lives in the 21st century. There's no more scary stuff to worry about. You're safe now. Uh-huh. Man, that guy was twisted. A high schooler committing multiple murders and leaving the bodies like that. He was over the edge. Good thing we caught him. Now I can stop seeing suspects in every shadow. If the killer was still on the loose. Enough, Adachi. If you keep running your mouth, the sushi's gonna dry up. Oh, you don't want no dry sushi. That's bad. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Come on, everyone. Eat up. Ever had, like, super dry-ass tempura? It's fucking terrible. Well, since you asked... Huh? You don't like sushi, Nanako-chan? There's wasabi in it. Suck it up, Nanako. Eat the wasabi, damn it. It's great. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell him to hold the wasabi. Here, I'll take it off for you. Which one do you want? Grow some goddamn hair in your chest. How a bit. It sucks whenever I cook food, like around this goddamn house, because fucking everyone around me can't handle spicy food. Like even I mean like I mean like fucking like Frank's Frank's fucking hot sauce levels of goddamn spiciness, they can't even handle it. And I'm like, I can't. I can't put- I can't even put, like, fucking chili flakes in something, because people will be like, It's too spicy! I'm dying! Excellent taste, Nanako-chan. As for me, I'll go for sea urchin. Hey, there's only one of those. Too late. First come, first serve. Yeah, if you want that sea urchin, why the fuck you only get one? <laughs> it's been a while since dinner has been this lively. Mitsuo confessed his crimes and was apprehended. You wonder if the incidents will end now. Summer Festival will begin soon. Oh shit, Summer Festival. Fuck! Hello, it's Jie. I ran into Yosuke at Junez. He said he was really in a bind. He didn't have enough employees working at Junez. He's probably gonna come to you and beg for you to rescue him. He'll be all, You gotta save me from the chaos, you! I feel kind of sorry for him, so I'm going to help him out this week. You're welcome too, Yuka. Chie hung up. Maybe you should help him out as Junez. Hmm. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping channel. Is it worth it at this point? Fucking go to TV, man. So, I usually, uh... I usually always help out Yosuke. But now that I'm looking at the social links, like this time, wooden bat. Very high quality. Okay, wooden bat. 
and then rice and pure. Okay, well, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the bat. I'm gonna get the bat. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get the fucking home run bat, Smash Brothers style. Hit the shadow, you're gonna hear the fucking ka -ching sound, right? But anyways, like I was saying, I usually help out Yosuke on the ship, but looking at the social links that I got right now, I mean, like, Yosuke's one point away, Yukiko's maxed, Chie's there, Rize is what, at three? I'm so blind, I can't even find her goddamn thing. Rize's at three. And we can't do anything for Kanji because I didn't activate it yet. Oopsie. So, I mean, there's really no reason to help out Yosuke. Right? And it takes up your whole entire week. If Chie's available right now, I'll just go hang out with her, right? She's one point away. Marie's out here. Rize's out here. Alright, so Chie's not available. Well, I guess we'll hang out with Marie. Let's see. Hi to you too, Marie. She's in low spirits. It will deepen. Come on, girl. Let's <laughs> hang out. Then I'll go. You gotta be so sad for her. You decided to take Marie somewhere she can calm down. Yeah, calm down. Just calm down. <laughs> that fucking Abraham Lincoln skit. <laughs> now you fucked up. Now you fucked up. You have fucked up now. You bought Marie here. She seems quiet. Hey. Hey, I want to see a dolphin. Bring out a dolphin. What the? F Bring out a dolphin. What the fuck do I look like, Jotaro? I'm gonna. I'm gonna count to three. By the time I get there, I better see a dolphin. You got it? Marie seems especially irritable today. How stupid. One, two, three. Hey, where's my dolphin? Hello? This sucks. <sighs> Does your head hurt? Nope. No, it doesn't. My head doesn't hurt, as long as I don't think too much. Marie seems absent-minded. Fine. It doesn't matter anymore. I stopped trying to remember. There's no point in trying to look for any answers. And in the end, I couldn't figure anything out anyways. Aww. You giving up? What can I do about it? I can't remember. I can't remember anything. Thinking makes my head hurt, and even if something comes up, it vanishes the next instant. I hate this. Stupid jerk. Just leave me alone. I hate this. My head hurts. All I want to do is to just remember. You can sense Marie's heart rendering emotion. I feel like you understand Marie even more. We're almost there. And then we'll never have to hang out with Marie ever again. Fine. Forget it. I don't need memories. I'm better off not knowing. Bye. You take Marie back to the Velvet Room and go home. That was pretty fast. Welcome back. Hey, Dojima. I can't do anything with you, so, uh... Guess I'll go fold some cranes. You can work here. Gonna fold those goddamn cranes. That's what I'm gonna do. You decided to make some cranes. Understanding has increased. You're getting tired of folding nothing but cranes over and over. Make other animals. Cheer yourself up, if only it was that simple. Your inspiration cheers you up, and you begin working on making cranes with just one hand. How the fuck do you do that? The bundle of cranes have been completed. As a reward from the Volunteer Association, you receive an anabolic gel. That's cool. Summer break continues. Hey, it's me. 
up, Yosuke? Sorry for dropping this on you all of a sudden, but I need a big favor. Can you work at Junez from today till Friday? We're short on staff. I'll pay you more than usual. Yosuke, I'm rocking fucking almost 400,000 in my pocket. I don't think I need your money. I'll buy you lunch every day at work too, I promise. Please, I'm begging you. I'm like begging you, man. Yosuke seems desperate. <gasps> no. Hey, come on! You're my only hope. Super please. You can imagine Yosuke's helpless face over the phone. Shie had actually asked you to help out. You have no choice but to agree. Oh my god, you have to do it? Fucking what? Alright. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> you bastard. Mm, I'll be waiting for you at Junez. I'll see you soon. You just you just took my whole week from me. You decided to work at Junez until Friday. I didn't know that happened. I don't even need to do it. Your social links are so close to being finished. I don't even need it. I just need to hang out with you and Chie <sighs> once. Why are the three? And why are there so many people just for the hero show? This is so freaking tiring. I'd be a zombie by now if it weren't for you. Welcome. We got shaved ice here with all your favorite flavor. I fucking hate. I hate ices. I hate shaved ice, and I fucking hate snow cones. It's nothing but ice and syrup and sugar. Cheer on, cheer on the heroes while enjoying a tasty snack of frosty shaved ice. Mm. It's so hot today. It's fucking. Snow cones has to be like the dumbest thing ever created to mankind. Today, some- Actually, you know what? I take that back. The fucking sport is the worst invention ever. Fucking sport. It's abomination. Teddy's gonna- Teddy's keeping up a good pace. You helped Yosuke in food court while the sun blazed down upon you. Yay, we're all closer. It doesn't matter, though, because I only- Only need one. <laughs> oh yeah, good news. All us girls have our scooter licenses now. We're still getting the hang of riding them, but a little more practice and we'll be good to go. Though, we need to finish helping out here first. I don't even want to talk about vacations, god damn it. <laughs> Again, I said it earlier, like, I gotta get cataract surgery for my dog and that's gonna be happening around, like, next month or whatever. I got the money for it, but I'm sitting there looking at the money, I was like, I was like, if I didn't have to do this, I can just take a fucking three weeks trip to Japan. Like, all the money I spent, and I'm just looking at it, I was like, I got it right there, I can just do it. <laughs> After the days of hard labor and the blistering heat, Teddy seems to be slowing down. Take the fucking costume off. Welcome, everyone. Beat the heat and eat some meat. Okay. Alright. Alright, Chie. Yeah. Alright. I see it. I see what you're doing. Yakiniku, griddled steak, ginger pork, ah, fucking ginger. Uh, chow down it. I hate ginger so much. It's so strong. It's a strong fucking flavor on my palate. It's terrible. Chow down and restore the energy that brutal summer days have taken from you. <laughs> Try our tender, juicy beef. Ju I added the word juicy. Delicious beef. Man, Teddy's really dedicated, isn't he? I'm melting in the short sleeve shirt, and he's wearing the huge costume. He's standing in front of a griddle. How does he do it? The same way I survived working as a fucking cook in a goddamn restaurant in two different restaurants. You help Yosuke in the food court while the sun blazed down upon you. Those summer days were terrible, man. You feel your relationship with Yosuke is going to become closer soon. But Chie is going to become closer soon. Hey, tomorrow's the summer festival, remember? Meet us at the shrine tomorrow. Oh. They better not fuck up my options. Because I have to hang out with Chie like one more time. Today's the last day you had to help Yosuke. You earned 40,000. That's cool. Welcome back. Welcome back. There was a delivery for you. I left it on the table. It's a wooden bat. 
Take a bat to the dome piece. Oh my god, 200? Hell yeah, but it's 30. Ooh. Ooh. Gonna be missing some hits. You know what I mean? Alright. Let's save it here. Because now... Now here's when our choices matter. Tomorrow's the summer festival. You should go back to your room. Summer festival begins today. You're supposed to meet up with your friends. I need to get up and stretch. Funny. I remember this festival being a lot more crowded. Is it because of the murders? Yeah, there ain't that many people here this year. Well, I guess you can't blame people for being scared. Haven't seen the reporters around either. And they sure are good at stirring shit up and then disappearing. Well, it ain't so bad to have thin crowds. What is important right now is that we go get some Ikiyaki. Ooh, I want to get some too! Kanji, what's Ikiyaki? Why the fuck that kid run like that? <laughs> Man, they're late. Why were they meeting up at Yukiko's house in the first place? They'll show up sooner or... You know, here's the part where I'm a little saddened because I haven't been streaming for a couple of weeks, like, dropping down a stream. Like, on last notice. It's not that many people here. <laughs> but, uh... This would be the time where, where I would have the chat fight each other. Over which wife who's gonna win. Whoa! Isn't that them? We'll get it next time. Sorry we took so long. It took us some time to get dressed. You have to wrap towels inside so they're not as greasy as everyone says. It's kind of hard to walk. Aw, you're adorable, Monica. <laughs> Nana-chan, you look so cute. I'm head over heels for you. I'll fucking castrate you right here and now, Teddy. Test me if you want to. Test my gangster. See what happens. <laughs> Thank you. How do we look, senpai? Does the sight make your heart skip a beat? Now, listen. I gotta play neutral here. This is where... The chat would kill each other for it, but we don't have enough people here tonight for that, so we'll have to do that another day. So I'm gonna do what any respectable man would do in this situation. And that's close his eyes and pick at random. Got my eyes closed. We're just doing it. We're just doing it. Still closed. Not looking. Not looking. Gonna press confirm. Three, two, one. What I choose? That slipped out so naturally. Perhaps you're used to saying things like that. All right, Rize, you won this one. I'm not mad. I'm not happy about it. Don't matter. I'm neutral. <laughs> well, I'm still happy to hear it. Kanji, what are you looking away for? Don't tell me you're ashamed to look. What are you, a monk? Th that ain't it! <laughs> you're so cute, Kanji. Hey, thanks for looking after her. They bought me cotton candy. Did they now? All right, then. You want to go over and do the target prank? Uh, I mean, game with me? <laughs> the target practice? <laughs> wow, Dojima. I'll take care of Nanako from here. It's only a few times a year that this town gets charged up like this. You kids should go and have fun. See you, Nanako. Hmm. A summer festival. Hmm. A couple walking together at a festival. Unused to wearing it, the girl's yukata comes loose. Summer has begun. What the fuck? What kind of tagline is that? We gotta go two by two! Rawr. Two by two? What? 
See, I've been thinking. It's the summer, you're wearing yukata, and we're at a festival. It's just wrong for guys and girls to walk around in a huge group like this. We should couple up while we're here. It's the natural way of things. What, what the hell are you babbling about? <laughs> I'm with Teddy. Come on, senpai. Why wear yukata in the first place? So we have memories we can remember fondly, right? Damn, girl, you was quick with that one. So we should pair off right away. Rise! What a terrifying girl! You got a point, though. Good memories. Uh, I'm fine, too. Oh, what I mean is, uh, count me in. I fucking love Yukiko's voice work. All right, you guys decide how we'll split up. Huh? Seriously? It's up to us? Uh, all right. Three guys and three girls. What should we do? Three guys? <laughs> Aren't you missing one? What? <laughs> Me, him, and Kanji makes three. Oof. What? You did that on purpose. Um, should I really do this? Oh, yeah. You can barely look at him. <laughs> no way. I can look at him. It'll be a cinch. Just you watch. Nah, you should bail, Kanji. It'd be best for everyone that way. What? You don't believe me? Well, I've made my decision. Listen, in Japan, girls may not like Kanji. In America, that man's, what, 6'2"? <laughs> They're all over him. Hey, wait till we're done for that. I want Chie-chan and Yuki-chan and Rise-chan for my partner. What the fuck? That's not a decision. Dude, you're the one who said we gotta pair off in the first place. I ain't joking here, Ted. If you try and butt in on this... That's right, Kanji. This is serious business. And you're a true man. A true man wouldn't be prancing around with other girls at a place like this. Okay. How much more can you butter him up? Kanji, this is a test to see if you can uphold your status as a true man. <sighs> now no one will be left out. Yeah, you're right. What the fuck just happened? Thanks, Teddy, you said it. Okay, count me out. What the f- <laughs> What? Dude, come on, don't fall for that. It's decided. I'm going with all of you. Who? <laughs> what? Huh? What's going on? Oh, there are too many guys, so someone would have been left out. Uh-huh. I just couldn't let that happen. What? You little... <laughs> I see. You're so kind, Teddy. We let them decide and this is what we get? <sighs> what a letdown. Oh my fucking god. Oh well, let's go then. Damn, Rize, you're so disappointed. Jesus, really? We fail, huh? We? An epic fail. Hey, Teddy! Why are you buying another idol's photo? Mine's in there too! Aw, oh, what's with this? Hey, Ted! Hands off my corn! Hands off my corn. Don't you know, they did the soundtrack for the Silent Hill. Teddy, you got ketchup on my yukata! One of them is my girlfriend. Two of them is my girlfriend, actually. Are my girlfriends. <laughs> there are only a few days left of summer break. What should you do today? Summer break continues. Summer festival is being held at the shrine today. All right, listen. We get a choice of redemption here, but the way the choice is handled is that you have to pick it the moment they call you instead of them calling you and you answering later, which is kind of a weird way of doing it, right? So, 
there's really no like neutral way to pick this. It, I just have to go with it. So I guess. Hmm. I guess whoever calls first, right? First come, first serve? I don't know who does it. I think it might actually be Rize who calls first. I'm not sure. Hello? Oh! Chie! I actually. Huh. Alright. It's me, Chie. You know, the festival at the shrine is gonna be going tonight, too. So, if it's okay with you, wanna go there? This time, just the two of us. How does that sound? I actually, I don't think I ever went to the shrine with Chie before, like, ever. So this is gonna be interesting. Okay, then. Meet me in front of the shrine. First come, first serve. What can I say? I honestly didn't expect Chie. Tatsumi Shrine. Mobile stalls are lined up from yesterday. Sorry for making you come to the same festival twice. Ah, oh, ain't no thing but a chicken wing girl. Let's go. It's a small shrine, so there's not much else to see, is there? But, um, I wanted something to remember this summer by with you. I should have said this yesterday. <laughs> I'm pathetic. <laughs> well, shall we go make a wish? Let's go, haircut. <laughs> Coconut head. Yesterday, I actually wished that you'd come with me today. Oh, that's cool. I can't believe it came true. Hey, what are you gonna wish for? Hmm. I am a romantic. To be closer to you. Oh, oh. oh. I wished for the same thing. Except I added forever at the end. <laughs> Moving kind of fast there, aren't we? You made your wishes together. Hey, why don't you two come over here? I've got the greatest candy apples in the world. I don't know. I just ate one yesterday. Tell you what, then. I'll throw in a free lottery ticket with each apple. You can exchange them right over there. God, candy apples is just the way to fuck your teeth up. How about it? You want to share a candy apple with your boyfriend? He called you my boyfriend. I mean, I am, right? Wait, but that's true. I'm not supposed to be nervous about this. <laughs> All right, then. Uh, two candied apples, please. One for me, and one for... My boyfriend. Here you go. Once we're done with these, let's go around and see the other stands, too. And we can't forget about the lottery. Here, the Okonomiyaki is humongous. Do you want to share one? Ooh, I think I could eat one all by myself, though. I do like a girl with appetite. <laughs> Whatever. One for both of us. That's two lottery tickets. These goldfish fishing games always have a turtle swimming around in the bottom of the tank. Is that safe? I heard in science class that pond sliders like eating fish when they're little. Anyway, I never really like these games. It takes too much of a delicate touch. And you know me, Chie. I okay. like my you women rough. To draw once. Let me go get the lottery box. Okay, here we go! Now, close your eyes and draw your prize. What do I get? You drew one ticket. Sorry, you didn't win anything. You son of a bitch. Hold up there, young lady. You just took two. Uh, only one of them's a winner. Uh, that's okay, I guess. A sixth place prize. Here's your book. A book? This book? What is it? You didn't get anything, right? Then you can have my prize. They keep handing this book out at town meetings and stuff. I think I have at least four of them at home. The Divine Way. 
What's <laughs> was this written by the people at the shrine? It took us two days to go through everything here. <laughs> Hopefully, this will be something we can look back on fondly. I had a lot of fun today. Um, I've been meaning to ask this. I talk about meat all the time, and I ate a lot today, too. But do girls who eat a lot turn you off? Fuck no. Oh, uh, hell no. Listen. I don't wanna... I don't wanna toot my own horn here, okay? But listen, I be chef board d it up in this house, alright? The other day, I made some fucking... Uh, shit, I can't even say the goddamn word. Atlantic salmon, right? I baked that up. Baked it pretty dry. I didn't add any water to it because I was going to use sauce over it. I made a sweet, spicy sauce, right? Put that over it. Sweet and spicy. Some Brussels sprouts on the side. Some small potatoes. Pretty simple meal to make, but oh my god. That sauce... Made the whole fucking thing complete. Just put a little bit, put like two two tablespoons of it over everything. Let it mix in a bit. My God, that shit was heaven. I think I ate like I think that's all I ate for that whole entire day, right? And it wasn't even that much food. Like it was like literally like one serving size of each thing. Fucking and that just filled you right up. It was great. It was wonderful. So listen, if I'm cooking food, you ain't eating, you got a problem. <laughs> I like girls who can eat. Really? Damn right. I'm so relieved. But I'm still going to stop talking about meat all the time. Not everybody's as understanding as you. Though if you don't mind, I guess it really doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. Well, guess it's time to go home. Thanks for today. Well... See you later. Hmm. That was kind of like... I've went to the shrine before with Ryuze. And I went there before with Yukiko. Never went there with Chie. And compared to the other two, Chie's is pretty tamed. Hmm. Part of ways with Chie and decided to go home. That was nice. There are only a few days left on summer break. What should you do? I don't know, what should I do? You realize that you haven't bought anything from the home shopping program. What else can I buy? How much money do I have? TV. You hear an infectious cheery song. All right, what we got, Tanaka? God, excuse me, I'm so sorry. Got some Genji beetles. Do I need Genji beetles? Yeah, I do. And tiny soul tomatoes. Give me those fucking beetles, man. I need that. I think Genji beetles is one of them that I need, right? I think that's what I need for the River Guardian? So now instead of having to go get them myself, they'll just come in the mail? That's great. Actually, that's pretty lucky. We won't have to waste time with that. I mean, it doesn't spend time to do it anyways. Just kind of a random chance, though, you know? So who can we hang out with today? Going to town. Chie, are you available? Oh, Chie. Ah, Chi is available, Marie's not, and that's all I wanted. Really? Oh, Yuku, what you doing? Chi isn't busy. Oh yeah, I managed to get my license. I felt like Yosuke kind of dragged us into this, but once I took my scooter for a ride, I realized how much fun it was. I can't wait to go to the beach with you guys. Since you got Aries, we will become closer soon. Okay. Well, um, well. Room? Can I see a room? After training, of course. That's all, so let's go. Your room. It is my room. 
She had begged to see it after training, so you brought her here. Hmm, so this is your room. It's pretty clean. Trying to keep the place tidy for when you move out? Oh. Oh, well, how did the room you had back home look? I mean, looking around my own room right now, besides, like, maybe a couple of dishes on top of my, um... Like, two or three, uh, you know, unwashed dishes on top of my mini-fridge. Everything else is pretty clean. You know, I recently cleaned up in here, so, yeah. It's clean. Huh? It was neater than this? I like having space in my room. I like, I like having enough things in my room to where... I like having things in my room, but I like having them in specific locations, right? Like, the middle of my room, I don't want anything in the middle of my room. I want a big open space in the middle of my room with everything else against the walls or the corners and shit like that. Che is looking at you with, uh, at a, looking at you and all. My room's covered with posters and stuff. It's a complete mess. <laughs> I used to have posters in my room. I took them all down. <laughs> now I don't, now I don't have anything on my wall. Do I? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't have anything on my walls at all besides like one of my TV screens. I got three fucking I got I got three monitors in my room. I got a TV on my wall, a TV that I use as a secondary screen for my PC, and then my main monitor. <laughs> oh, um I'm sorry to barge in like this. Che seems to be panicking for some reason. Well, see, there's something I want you to hear. Only you. Um I still don't have a clue what my good points are. But I thought I could just keep on searching. I was thinking maybe both of us together? <laughs> You're on your own. <laughs> good luck with that, bitch. That sounds good. Yeah! Jay looks somewhat embarrassed. So, here. From me to you. You obtained wristbands. Oh, and it's new, so it's clean. Why, why wouldn't it be clean? It makes a matching pair with mine. <laughs> I actually do like little trinkets and shit like that, like little accessories, like scarves and bands and stuff like that. But I never, I never liked the fucking, the stupid bands that people would have, like, back in school. Like, fucking the ones that says, I heart boobies on it, or whatever. Like, it's like, haha, you're pretty mature guy. Great. I think this power of mine is what I wanted all along. The power to protect everyone. I understand now. I'm not supposed to use it to become more self-reliant. I'm supposed to use this power to protect people. Yukiko, my friends, my family, this town, and you. She a strong will that allowed her to accept and overcome her weaknesses has awakened her heart's true power. She now has Darth Maul at her disposal. <laughs> All right. Tomoe has transfigured into Suz a oh god. <clears throat> Suzuka shit. Suzuka Goken. My new power. I have you to thank for this. I love you. You can sense Chie's intense love. You feel a tight bond between something's gonna be tight tonight, that's all I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> hey! Listen, you knew something was going to happen, right? You get out of school before Nanako. Dojima's at work all the damn time. It's just the two of you in the house. Listen. Persona 4 didn't go that far, but Persona 5, they went, they went there. <laughs> they went there. Ain't no fucking way in Persona 5 your character is a virgin by the end of that game. Ain't no goddamn way. Anyways, you can now fu uh, fuse, uh, goddamn it. 
Futsunatsu, Futsunushi, Futsunushi, Futsunatsu, oh fucking. Jay's growth of heart has affected her persona as well. She learns Bafula? No, evade fire, my bad. Uh, she doesn't learn tier 3 ice magic at all. Evade fire, which, let's get rid of fucking skewer, right? Don't need it. She is fidgeting. What should you do? Hug her! Come here, oh, you fucking skeleton. <laughs> I am, I'm still all sweaty. Wait, the, the, oh, that's not what I meant. What am I saying? Girl, don't matter. Someone's gonna get sweaty by the end of this night. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> don't worry about it. Idiot. She wouldn't really be like bony though, right? I mean, it's just her character model kind of looks like that. She would be more like toned, like super toned, like like lean muscle. Listen, I don't discriminate. Girls got abs. Goddamn, I want to be crushed between every single one of those. Welcome back. Welcome back. Wait, wait, what do you mean, welcome back? I just came downstairs. Oh, wait, no, I walked her home. Alright, well, I gotta get my understanding up, still. Because I can't do- Wait a minute! Hey, you, I heard you got top marks- Thank you, I almost forgot. <laughs> Keep up your studies. Give me my money, damn it. 40,000, hell yeah. Wow. Hmm, this answer's hard. She'll leave her alone. Okay, I guess I got whatever I needed from her. I almost forgot to get my money from fucking Dojima. <laughs> like, what? Pay me, bitch. Alright. I guess I'll just make some more origami shit, right? Well, I mean, how much does... Uh... Let me see. Divine way, what does it give me? Knowledge and expression, I don't really need that. Oh, hyper- I do have hyper speed reading now. When the fuck did I buy this? It'll take me three nights to finish that. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. I had to think about it. <laughs> Began reading hyper- uh, hyper speed reading. The book explains a method for greatly enhancing your reading speed- oh, shit. I wish I could enhance my reading speed. Your reading speed and recall when reading books. Wait, what? Did I fuck that up? No, that's the skip button. Oh, speed and recall when reading books. Okay, I did read that right. Okay. You read on thinking that this could be effective for all kinds of books. There's still some pages of hyperspeed reading left. You decide to stay uh, to save them to the next read. Whatever. Oh, thank you, TwitchBot, for saying body things. Who the hell is calling me? Morning! Is your motorcycle all gassed up? Remember how I mentioned how we should all go to the beach before? Why not go today? Eh. Let's go another day, man. I hate the beach. I fucking can't stand the beach. Alright, I'll start getting ready and... Wait, what? What's gotten into you? Are you just gonna pass up on summer entirely? Yeah, summer sucks. You can't do that to me. Seriously, I'm begging you here. Summer Please. sucks. Autumn is what it's about, baby. The leaves fall. It gets chilly, but not too chilly. Some rainy nights are pretty great. Since Yosuke's keen desire, it seems you'll have to go along with him to the beach. The sky is bright and clear today. It's the perfect day for an outing. You decide to bring out your scooter. Senpai! Is the beach really this way? We've been on the road for a while. I'm positive! Can't you smell the ocean? What smell? You can definitely trust her on this, Rize. 
She's got the senses of a beast, remember? What? <laughs> hey, what are you saying? Hey, you? I was complimenting you. You call that a compliment, you idiot? What kind of girl wants to be compared to a big fat animal? Huh? Hey, dude, give me a break, will you? Have you seen the map? This is crazy. Wait for me. I'm done for. <laughs> Look, the ocean. All right. Oh, it's pretty. I love how in that cutscene Yukiko is like no, so focused on driving. To get nervous. Oh man. We're at the ocean, which means swimsuits, which means reset live and in person. What are the ramifications here? Am I using up my lifetime supply of luck with this? Whoa. Ooh. Were you waiting for us? Dude, that's just insane! Eh. Yeah, she's something else. It's even more normal than I expected. Eh! I've seen her shadow. <laughs> yeah, it's more normal than I expected. Why not give her the compliment? Summer is awesome! Hey. Were you checking me out, senpai? Guilty as charged. Um, can we get going into the water? Chie-chan, Rise-chan, and Yuki-chan all win the Ladies of Summer competition. I'm surrounded by such beautiful mermaids. I feel like this could be my chance for a summer romance. Like that'd ever happen. I don't know. You all went and hung out with him at the fucking summer festival, so whatever. Where's Kanji? I bet he's still worn out. Riding all that way on a bike really did a number on him. Oh, here he comes. Sitting on this chair is doing a number on my fucking ass right now, I'll tell you that. I gotta get up and stretch real soon. <laughs> Kanji, what the fuck, man? What's what? Your swimsuit! What else would I mean? Ah, uh, Kanji, it's pointing at me. It's your basic black, what? I'm not talking about the color! I mean, I mean, the, the whole thing! I'm seeing things I never needed to see! You're the only one saying stuff like that! Have you guys ever seen... You know what this reminds me of? Have you guys ever seen anything from like the fucking Jubilee YouTube channel or whatever? You know, they have that stupid shit that they do like, like fucking five guys versus five girls or some bullshit. And there was like one video they did where it's like, let's base people off of just physical attributes or whatever. And it's like a girl rating like the guy as like the curtain gets lifted up or whatever. And one of the guys <laughs> One of the guys in that video is wearing, like, I don't know what the fuck he's wearing. He's wearing, like, either briefs or, like, fucking tidy whities or something. I don't fucking know. But <laughs> at one point in the video, the dude turns to the side, and you can just, bro, you can just see nothing but, like, all dick just, like, hanging out. And it's like, come on, man, what are you doing? Don't act like you're not egging me on. Wait, Kanji, how come you're not getting a nosebleed over me? Huh? Why would that happen? <laughs> what? I'm surprised they can get this worked up over just some swimsuits. Jeez, they're hopeless. 
I'm gonna go ahead and jump in the water. Chie-chan, Yuki-chan, let's be mermaids! What? Whee! Let's be mermaids! Hey, he went in first! Come on, you two, let's go! Found a vending machine. I'll go buy some drinks. You want a soda? Yeah, I want a soda. Oh! My string's getting undone. What? Where? Hey, Teddy, watch the hands, pal. Aw, don't be so stingy. I think we're due for a wardrobe malfunction. I think we're just due for sexual harassment. What in the world are they doing? What are you complaining for, Yosuke? Whoa, 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 whoa. What now? Got you, you bastard. Busted. Hey, Senpai, this stupid bear here. Hey, 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 not cool. You listening, Senpai? Wait, hold it. Time out. Uh, look down. Down. <laughs> Teddy! Holy shit, the wardrobe malfunction was mine! <laughs> what are you doing? You need to cover up down there, damn it! Fucking Teddy, what the hell, man? I give up! I give up! Hey, quit squirming. You run off and I'm toast! But if I don't run off, my dignity will be in ruins! What do you mean? Hold up. Why don't we take a break? <laughs> this man said, my dignity will be in ruin. You're the one who went for him. I need to put on more sunscreen. Gotta take a break to slake with steak. Out here spitting facts. That's right. They're getting out of the water. Teddy, what gives? I'm done for. I'll go look for something. Sit tight. It's an emergency. <laughs> Let's find a swimsuit. Maybe a she shell? You're a man. Let him dangle. Hell yeah. A man should. Nah, that's pushing it. <laughs> Why be some serious shit? <laughs> yeah. God, you got it for real now. He said, nah, fuck it. I'm not doing that. I can hear the harps. Stay with us, Ted. All right, Kanji, I found something. Wait, that's seaweed. Oh, there they are. Senpai! Just go back in the water. They're coming, just hide it! What am I supposed to say to this? Uh, we're, uh, reenacting the birth of Venus? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm ready to be born, damn it. <laughs> you sick of? Was this the best idea? You know, he could have just walked back into the water. Whatever else, it's giving me an itch. Uh huh. You all managed to win a bitter battle. Or so you tell yourself. The sun is starting to set. Pretty busy day. I'm still itchy. At least we had a laugh over it in the end, right? And we found your swimsuit, too. Well... I never would have come to the beach if you hadn't invited me. <laughs> I guess it would be out of character for you. It actually might be more fun to try stuff that's out of character. Yeah. In a way, your nature is like a wall, after all. Surrounding yourself with high walls makes things simple, but... Simplicity isn't always a virtue. 
Oh man, what was that? Did I just get all philosophical there? Yeah, you did. Fucking loser. Ouch! Just laying it out there, huh? I think it's fine. I look at that big ocean out there and think, man, why keep hanging on to all this embarrassment? Just let it go. So you don't deny that it was embarrassing, huh? I mean, yeah. My man had to cover up with seaweed. Think about how wet and slimy that would feel. Oh, God. Oh, no. Not the good type of wet and slimy. Okay. Why don't we play a game? Whoever loses has to buy barbecue on a stick for everyone else. But that's a prize only you would want to play for, Chie-senpai. Then the loser gets to smooch Teddy! Talk about kicking someone when they're down. Then instead of playing... They're in high spirits and having fun. Together? Like burying Teddy Good in the times sand. never last you long. Mean, like giving him a sand I wonder if our high school no, days will end that way red. too. I was so careful to put sunscreen on too. All the doom and gloom. The case is closed, man. If anything, I'd say we're just getting started. That's true. Man, though, this motorcycle trip turned out way better than I imagined. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we go skiing during winter break? Wait till you guys see how awesome I am on a snowboard. Talking about winter already? Getting a little ahead of ourselves, are we? I think if I save up enough money this year, I'll go for a skiing trip. Rent out a lodge for me and some buddies. Look forward to it. Yeah! There's lots of mountains around here, so there's gotta be a ski slope somewhere not too far away. One of the things I want in my life is just like a fucking... I don't want to call it a man cave, right? But like, kind of just like a game room, like a lounge room. Like a fucking, like a basement that you just go down to, got a pool table, you know, pool table or like a game table or something like that. Maybe like a bar in the corner, little stools, right? TV down, for TV like, you know, a TV down there for like movie nights and shit, maybe some board games or something like that. Maybe sometimes host a little bit of D&D. &D. Oh yeah, tons of them. None of them are that close by, but it won't be too tough by scooter. Though we gotta stay safe. The roads look dangerous. We might have to change our plans. Man, I wouldn't have thought you'd be the one stressing safety. What's the point of trying to act cool when it comes to that stuff? Danger's danger, man. Danger's danger. I say that shit whenever I get in the car with people and they're fucking like speeding down the freeway. I fucking hate, dude, I hate when someone goes to a red light and the light hasn't changed and they start fucking like inching up and it's to the point where they're just completely past the fucking stoplight. It's like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? You're not going anywhere until that light turns green. Well, you have a point. All right, now that we have a plan in mind for winter break, let's start heading back before it gets dark. We're all beginners at driving after all. Hey, we're going home! You know, Yosuke has bad luck with ladies. Right? I mean, is it really bad? Because he, I mean, he was hanging out with Rize earlier. You saw him, like, pushing her in the water. But, like, Yosuke is, like, a really reliable dude. Like, really reliable. Like, he's really mature for his age. Like, he's get, like, he gets shit done. He's pretty good at managing his money, too, I guess, right? Because he manages to buy all this shit, and he works, like, really hard for it, too. Yosuke is a cool dude. <laughs> the end of summer break is fast approaching, but Nanako still has some homework left to do. According to her, there's a huge pile of homework. The object of... Um, sorry, I had like a moment there. The object of Nanako's homework... Object. Objective of Nanako's homework is to tighten the bonds between family members and doing homework together. It's too much for Nanako to finish all by herself. Should you help Nanako with her homework for the next few nights? Yes. I can never say no to you. Really? Thank you, big bro. Aww. Then I'll start working on spelling practice. Nanako is doing her best to practice her spelling. She seems to be doing well, but you decide to double check her work anyways. After Nanako finishes her spelling, you put her to bed and return to our school. Uh, re what? Return to our school? <laughs> return to your room. Summer break will be over soon. Seeing Nanako's homework last night give you, uh, got you thinking. Remember that you had homework as well. However, it would only take you a few days to do it. 
but you promised Nanako that you would help her with her homework every night. Maybe you can do your homework during the daytime. You can start your homework today. So here's the fun thing. You can do your homework, but at the same time, you actually really don't need to. Right? You don't need to do your homework. Like, you're, like, I think the only benefit you get is, like, maybe your knowledge goes up. Like, for doing it. But, you can just say, fuck it, dog. Peace out. Right? Uh, shopping district. Oh, wait. Rize. No, not Rize. My bad. Chie and, uh, Yukiko are done. Marie, are you available? Well, I mean, you are available, but... It will deepen. Okay, cool. Oh. I see. Marie looks sad. <laughs> Sorry, Marie. My bad. She's like, oh, I see. Great. Yosuke? I thought she's out here, but we don't need to hang out with him. We're good. Once you get him up to six, you don't gotta worry about him. He becomes like Teddy, right? You don't need to worry about his bullshit. Let me actually buy some stuff. Food fight. Boost the effects on Chinese food. Eh. Raises your courage. I won't really need courage, do I? I mean, what, what am I missing? I'm missing... My expression is top-notch. Diligence can use some work, right? Diligence when making envelopes. Hmm. I'll think about it. I'll think about buying another book later. But right now we can hang out with Marie, so let's do that. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey, about the last time, sorry, I want to talk with you alone. You decide to listen to Marie in a quiet place. The hill overlooking town. You brought Marie here. She's surprisingly quiet. I'm actually scared that I can't remember anything. Everything about me is borrowed. Everything is just on loan from that room. If I return what I borrowed, I won't have anything left. The name Marie, this body, this voice. They'll all fade away. Wait, what? <laughs> Your body and voice. But... Were you in the... I thought... Was she already part of the Velvet Room when I bumped to her at the train station? Because I thought she meets Margaret after that. I feel like that's what'll happen to me. Oh, okay, so you feel like it. All right. <laughs> so I thought, if only I could at least remember something. But I couldn't figure out anything. It's really scary. Maybe I don't have any real memories to find. It's beautiful. Oh my god. JPEG is so beautiful. <laughs> hey, is this that one place? We came here after eating the... Steak skewers. Atta girl! It really is nostalgic here. I don't know why, but it feels like I've known this scenery since a long time ago. I had fun then. Take me there again sometime, okay? Oh shit, I didn't mean to skip that. <laughs> hey! That's a memory. Of course I remember, you stupid jerk-faced twerp! I remember. It's a memory. A memory of you and me. 
Huh. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I feel stupid now. It feels... incredible. Marie closed her eyes, as if reminiscing something. Hey, can we make more? More memories? Eh, I'll help. Dummy, of course you will. I can't make any without you. I don't have to hurry, huh? Even if I don't have memories, I can make more. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry, it's just that I'm happy. It seems Marie has cheered up. I feel that your relationship with Marie has grown deeper. Hey, level 9. Only one more time. Still, you really are a weird person. You're so busy and yet you still take time to take care of me. Why do you do that? Maria looks at you with anticipation. However, you are already in a relationship with another girl. Why? Because I love you. That's a lie. I won't believe just words. Don't scare me like that jerk. I hate that part of you. I really hate it. I thought I hated it. You, f you can feel Marie's heart pounding. There's no turning back. Your relationship with Marie has become intimate. <laughs> I gain another memory. Hey, stay like this for a little while longer. So that... I won't forget. It's okay, right? After spending some time with Marie, you escort her back to the Velvet Room. And now with your newfound relationship, you get the bonuses of having discounts at both Hot Topic and Spencer's. <laughs> you decide to look over Nautico's homework. I have to write three proverbs for my homework today. Oh, I know one. It's uh, a rolling stone gathers no moss. Dad always tells me that one. Who can that be? Yosuke and Teddy came by. We had a little event going on at June as today. Here's a souvenir for you, Nanako chan Oh, you doing your summer homework? I feel sorry for you. All right, I'll help you, Nanako chan Hmm, proverbs. Oh, I have one. Co- what? How, what? <laughs> Kogito ergo su- what? <sighs> Where did you pick that up? Don't cast pearls before swine is more like something you say. I don't even know what the fuck Teddy said, honestly. I never heard of that shit. I never heard of shit that Yosuke said either. Yosuke and Teddy help Nanako finish their homework. You become closer with everyone. If you have a relationship with Yosuke, it's gonna become closer soon. Feeling okay, Nanako. Alright, cool. Thank you. After putting Nanako to bed and saying goodbye to Yosuke and Teddy, you went to your room. Summer break will be over soon. Got that homework. Ugh. That was a yawn. I needed to get that out of my system. Alright. Well, it's a rainy day, so I mean... You know what? I could head to the Chinese diner. But I'm not going to. I'm going to finish reading this. read your book as the rain spattered against the window. Knowledge has increased greatly. Why did I say greatly? Is that what it said? Oh shit, wrong button. Fuck. <laughs> I meant to pull up the log. You decide to look over Nanako's homework. I have to write an essay about something I remember. Hmm. Is someone here today too? Chia and Yukiko came by. I heard from Yosuke that Nanako is doing her homework, so I'm here to help with you. You're writing an essay? Have you decided on a topic, Nanako? Not yet. 
Hmm, let's see. How about the time we went to the festival together? That's right. The Ikayaki. Hope I said that right. It was so good. And I had so much fun. Nanako begins writing her essay. Chie and Yukiko help Nanako with her essay. You feel the relationship with Nanako is going to become closer soon. After putting Nanako to bed, you say goodbye to Chie and Yukiko and you went to your room. Summer break will be over soon. You got that homework. Here's what I think about your homework. Shut up your ass. Alright. Going to town. Who wants to hang out with me? Yosuke, how you feeling, buddy? Damn it. Yosuke's been avoiding me. Rize, you available? Please say yes. What the hell are you doing out here, Yosuke? <laughs> I want to ride bikes, man. Oh, senpai. You're damn right I'm free. What you got? Uh-huh. Central Shopping District. You decide to walk Rize home after eating at Aya. <laughs> the flavor was a little strong, but it was good. My grandma's food is kind of bland, though tofu is good for you, so... There's a suspicious man in front of Rize's house. Is that a reporter? Or a stalker? Rize is worried. Let's go! Get out of here. Huh? That's alright. You don't know if he's really dangerous or not. Let's just wait and see, okay? But thanks for that. Rize's no longer She seemed that oh, goddamn I can't read. Rize no longer seems worried. Hmm, but still. That guy, where have I? Inoue-san? Is that you? Rize-chan. Why are you here? I already settled everything with the agency. I'm here because... Personally, I can't accept that. I watched over you this entire time as your manager. I'm no longer a personality. My private time doesn't belong to a manager anymore. Go home. If you don't, I'll call the police. Wait, could you just think it over? I strongly believe that no other actress can play the role better than Rize Kujikawa. Your fans were looking forward to the movie too. You still want me to act? Uh... Anyways, I'm through with it. I have nothing to do with showbiz and all that stuff now. I've decided to marry this man once we graduate high school. Damn, girl, landing on thick there, huh? I said before it was only a hiatus, but I changed my mind. There's no way I'm coming back. You sees the real me. He's so gentle. Rizé's desperate. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. We're engaged. Deal with it. You went along with her story. See? I told you. I understand. I'll go home. For today. But I... Go away! Now! Um... Oh, uh... uh that was no way, son. He was my manager. I'm his daughter's age, so he treats me like one of the family. But he's a stranger now. Senpai, uh... I'm sorry, Senpai. I'm sorry. Lying about marrying you and all? What? It was a lie? Huh? Was it a lie? Oh, Senpai. Wow. Someone at a loss reads a smiling sheepishly. You really are a nice guy. This isn't good. I feel like I'm going to depend on you even more. <laughs> Just kidding. Perhaps due to her relief, Rize is smiling sheepishly. You feel that your relationship with Rize has grown deeper. Oh my 
my god, that's only rank 4? Jesus fuck. Rize's growth of heart has affected her persona! Third Eye! When selecting a target, you can check whether or not the attack will be effective or not. Nice. I wish I could spend more time with you, but I'll save it for next time. See you later, senpai. You watched Rize walk in and went home. That's a weird way of wording that, but I guess. You decided to look over Nanako's homework. For today's homework, I have to write a book report. I already finished reading the book, so I just need to write about it. The king goes deep in the forest, and... Hey, you want to know what's a real nice trick about finishing book reports for school? Guess what? You just don't read the book, and you open to the last chapter, and you read that. <laughs> you read the first chapter, and then you read the last chapter. <laughs> And then you go, done. He was all alone, so he wasn't angry or sad. The king said he was happy, but I feel sad for him. Mm, big bro, do you feel happy when you're alone? Nah. Oh good, neither do I. <laughs> If we were being real, my answer to that would be fuck yes. I want to live in a goddamn log cabin in the forest somewhere by myself. Nanako seems happy. After Nanako finished her report, you put her to bed and return to your room. Nice. It's raining. So when break will be over, you got your homework. Well, it's raining, can't do anything. I'm gonna read this goddamn book. You decided to continue reading Hyperspeed. You can now read super fucking fast. You read two chapters a night. Very helpful. Especially if you're going for that book trophy on, like, the PS Vita. You decide to look over Nanako's homework. Honestly, I think the only trophy I don't have on the PS Vita for Golden is, um... The Rize, f uh, the Rize fan trophy. You gotta get her to say, like... 250 different voice lines. Well, not just voice lines, like navigation lines. It's fucking... Some people get it randomly, some people don't. Me, for some reason, I can't get it. <laughs> you decided to look over Nanako's homework. I'm doing my art homework today. I have to make something out of stuff I find in the house. A milk carton, paper t oh, damn it. A paper towel tube, knitting wool, origami paper. What else do we have? Someone here today? Rize and Kanji came by. Wow, those two hang out? <laughs> Senpai said that Nanako-chan was doing her summer homework. You should have told me. But it looks like I picked the wrong day to come. I can't do any of this art stuff. Me neither. Huh? Let me see what you got. Kanji carefully crafted something with incredible detail. Oh my god, it's a bear on top of a fucking... On top of a goddamn jeep. And created something that no elementary student could make. Hey, Rize up. Nanako up, and nothing's affected Kanji. <laughs> After putting Nanako to bed, turn to your room. What the hell? <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck that noise was behind me. My dog is acting crazy. What are you doing? While you're there. You gotta go outside? She might need to go outside. Who the hell's calling me? Hello, it's Rise. What's up, Rise? Are you bored today, Senpai? Let's go somewhere. I'll think about it. I'll think about it, Rise, alright? Damn. You realize that you haven't bought anything from the shopping channel. What do we got? Shopping program. What? Order from the show has arrived. Oh, yeah. Thief's dagger? Alright. Ark. 
I don't know what Thief's Dagger is, but I can use it. Why not? It sounds cool. I've never used that weapon before. I would like the Thief's Dagger, please. And longevity pills. Like a true, like a true student, taking pills to increase your effectiveness. All right, my dog is whining at me, so I'll be back in like five minutes. I'm gonna get up and stretch, and while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go outside with my dogs. So, see you guys in a bit. Take off my mind. 